uh, I'm intending to. Next is MGT RGC 87. Just give me a minute. 87. Uh, who is the group coordinator for this? Kemal Joshi. Are Joshi is up. Uh, okay. Joshi is not there right now. But you see, Monica, only one thing. Till the time Joshi and uh, the other fellow, they are not joining. Uh, so you will be acting as a coordinator for this group. We'll be accepting your message by the time your team members join them. Next is MGT RGC 158. MGT RGC 093. Okay. Now you see, right now, this is a recording, recorded session. All group numbers have been quoted there clearly and their uh, coordinator's name have been displayed. So now onwards, these people are officially required to post a message in group whenever something is asked for. And their message <coughs> will not be their individual message. It will be a group message. So before posting anything into group, you should be clear on what you are doing. OK, you should have a consensus from your team members. So because these messages will be recorded, so it should be a little bit clear. But I need certain replies a little bit fast. So you have to decide uh, for every question. There has to be a yes and a no. There cannot be any third option. Maybe is not an option. So it has to be a clear yes and a clear no. <coughs> so <coughs> the first thing which I want from you all is I need your pair rating. This is something which is asked for ev like uh, in every evaluation. This will be there. All these group coordinators after making a consensus from their group members are required to post their pair rating in next three to four minutes and only one pair rating per group means I'll put in the name of the student and then I'll write next to him the numbers given to him and this is to be based on everyone's feedback based on everyone's uh, uh, confirmation okay now you see you decide your pair rating meanwhile I'm just giving you the rules of your uh, uh, presentation today every group has to go through with some set of uh, presentations PPTs so that when you're saying something you're speaking something you have to like one thing when you're presenting your PPT any one of you in your group member can share the PPT second thing is like when your PPT is done I'll be making some notes onto my notebook once that PPT is done and you are asked for a questioning huh? I will be naming a fellow who is going to answer me that question. So this thing is to be like uh, you have to like what you need to do is like you have to activate your webcam. I want to see your face while I'm uh, like uh, trying to get a response from you. Uh, maybe two, three questions in total. OK, uh, the process will be like uh, first of all, you'll be going through your presentation presentation uh, for eight, nine slides. I feel maybe if it is one person who is going to deliver may take five minutes. But if it is more than one person who is going to give their presentation, like try to like, I don't want multiple people to give it. OK, any one person in groups can give this presentation for five to seven minutes. Just an overview, because when I uh, I'll make up my mind where to ask you a question. So I may be in second round once you are done with your presentation or showing your PPT. I may ask you certain questions and then I may pinpoint someone in particular in that group. OK. I'm expecting your pair rating. I'm waiting for your pair rating. Your pair rating should come into this group chat, not into WhatsApp. You can you simply copy this pair rating and put it into WhatsApp later. But at this point of time, your evaluation is going on. The session is being recorded. The so group wise, four pair ratings should be there. Monica, what you can do is like you can just text them a message, get their feedback, put on pair rating. This is asked from every group. So you will be submitting for your group. Uh, okay, just uh, get it and then share it. So this the first three minutes is like you do arrange your PPTs. I I expect you should have your uh, papers ready in some folders. They, they should be kept into backup. Then uh, any other thing that you want to share, like any document, any piece of uh, uh, like any any piece of questionnaire that you want to share or something else. These are the things which like this all depend on to you. You give your presentation, then I'll have some of my question into it. So let me also write some of my own questions. Let me be prepared onto it. I'm waiting for your pair rating. 
all your data are to be recorded by me and then i'll be going into that uh, evaluation parameter when it comes to evaluation parameter you see things are not yet clear to me uh, i have already gone through so much of like discussion just give me a minute i'll search and i'll get some of the parameters so that meanwhile you are starting up your presentation we are done with the like uh, identification process how to uh, evaluate the things sir uh, one group one peer rating ha ah, one group one peer rating yani uh, amarnath and five of you are there na you do share your feedback to rishab rishab will create the uh, consolidated peer rating or what you can do is like best is you put yourself on to a conference call five of you get activated and have some five minutes verbal two to three minutes verbal discussion finalize it and then post it to our chat okay take 5 minutes no problem i'm also going into this uh, points to be followed in atp viva let me read out the instructions given by department on this the viva should be scheduled between 27th october to 2nd of november the viva shall be conducted on google meet okay and the faculty will communicate the google meet id to various capstone groups of their own no need to inform it to central department so this session is between you and me central department and no external person can have an access to this for the moment maybe later on we can share them the video recordings please record the proceedings of the viva viva shall be conducted in group but students can be evaluated individually you see this is all a group performance but what is important is like individually how you are contributing is very very important the path for punching the et marks will be as follows they have given me a path that is not meant for you and let me go through that path also give me a minute this is for the first time in last 10 years i have seen that capstone evaluations are done and you you have your mentor who is taking your viva i find let this thing little bit uh, uneasy you know i have already given my best i have already told you what is to be done and if you go to a external person then things must have been somewhat more easier uh kidar se jaane ka hai thank you lms yes give me a minute i am searching for my content meanwhile you can decide your peer rating today is uh you see technically we have been given the date for this thing is like 27th of october for all of the students in department this is something they have fixed but uh, you can do at any point of time room number is 30 block 302 and time is 10 am okay so there are so many now first we'll be starting with let us have a like some sort of okay uh, you see Feed somewhere and then wait. Let me have your feedback. So, okay, Rishab, oh, Rohit, very good, Rohit. Again, taking the lead when it comes to peer rating. Girish Gaba is coming in from somewhere. Okay, one fifty-eight group number. Uh, peer rating for Harish, Harsh, Bajaj, ten, Rohit, ten, ten, ten. uh 10 then is 9 mohammed ibrahim is 8 okay then uh, second group is like we do have rahul jakhar for rahul they have ashmit then rahul then prashansa the 9 And Girish seven. Okay. Next is we do have group number Rishabh. Rishabh. 
want to search for group number system is group coordinator one is giving a month you see this there is no one who is allowed a parroting uh, as in fraction 8.5 we don't have this thing and the only thing that we have to one more phenomena that we have to follow is like uh, uh, this the uh, the best and the worst case in a group has to have a gap of minimum three marks this is university policy and all of you know it very well okay so you should not be unfair to that fellow who is a little bit weak so i i should not comment more than this rest is all your call rishab joshi 93 okay okay 93 group number rishab 93 rahul what is your group number aman 7 Aman seven. Okay. Aman is zero zero one double two. One double two. Okay. Aman is seven. Amarnath is. What is Amarnath? Is it eight or is it nine? There is no fraction eight point five. Uh, so Rishab kindly. Ah, uh, Amarnath given. Then uh, uh, Simarjit. Ten. Rishab. Ten. Uh, Harsha, yeah. okay. So these are three groups done. For the last group, where we have Monica and team. Monica, can you share your feedback? Monica is group number eighty-seven. Chali, no issues. Maybe she will be coming up a little bit later. Ah, Monica gave it. Very good. Monica, this is verified from your team members. So yes, three, sir. Seven. Aman, ten, Monica, ten. Yes. Peer rating is done. I don't know to what extent have you understood my concepts, my rationals, my logic. Uh, because peer rating, there is no change. No, not major change. This is all as you usually do conventionally. Hello. Yes, Amarnath. Sir, PR rating. If there are four members, then three members will be ten, and one member will be seven. This is nonsense. Actually, Amarna, I am telling it to you only. Actually, PR rating is a concept based on the performance of an individual, and I feel that most of the time, I understand that one person, if he is given a task, he is doing his level best, so we give him ten. But I feel like it should be based on the quality of work that you have done in terms of your group assignment. If one person like Rishab is eminent for your group, and in absence of Rishab, you will not be able to coordinate properly. So Rishab deserves a ten. Maybe yes, some sir. other fellows in team who are not contributing to the extent what Rishab is doing, they don't deserve a ten. This is my understanding on peer rating, but I I cannot comment because you will have one LPU policy onto it. Like sir, there is a policy we have to work as per policy. So I am not saying much on it. because this is something which i have already told to you during your weekly interactions no two persons should be there on the same staircase because you don't have much space to accommodate more than one you and what is this is usual practice everywhere same sort of practice is coming in so in rohit in your group 10 and 8 is the gap so i want someone who is supposed to be there on 7 for group 122 things are okay for group 93 things are okay for group uh, uh, this monica group that is also okay rohit only in your group one variation i need any someone has to go on 7 if you have 10 as the best okay so you see let me let me uh, uh, raise one question to you is there any student who has some sort of emergency emergency means you have some appointment with some income tax authority or some authority maybe a medical appointment or some sort of you see once is like you do have this as an interim exam so i'm still asking anyone having any sort of emergency or something which is unsustainable uh, girish are you okay girish gaba are you okay yes sir okay chali then uh, you let me tell you uh, that girish is not well and then second exception which i see in this lot is like maybe harsha is working on a like harsha or nahi prasanna prasanna is working for a company so there are situations maybe prasanna will be under stress prasanna kindly convey your availability 
is it available for entire 3 hours or there are certain challenges with you yes sir i am available for 3 hours next week. oh okay okay so prashant sai is there in this group okay in same group you have both the cases one is like girish gaba and second is prashant sir oh jp prashant sir have you been asked by department to appear in your viva because you are right now on to this ojt concept Yes, sir. I had a talk with placement department. They told me that you have to give an, uh, you have to give the white bar and the, what uh, the uh, update the same the file. Uh, have you asked them that how will you do this for last one month? You are not active and you have uh, no understanding of what the members are doing. Why have you not asked them? Because they have asked you to go to some external company for your like uh, this sort of uh, on on the online job. and you are working very hard for them every day 7 to 10 hours daily contributing to that company how will you do justice to yourself in this evaluation because when it comes to me i will not be considering anyone uh, having any i will not be giving any concession to girish for his medical emergency i will not be able to give anyone any exemption so evaluation means the person is not aware about your challenges and constraints he'll be asking you some question on your presentation if you are able to answer is good if you are not able to answer sometimes there may be a negative evaluation so this thing should have been asked to them very clearly ki say i am going into presentation maybe if something is negatively marked to me how will i get the credit so i feel like if i am there in your place i must have asked like this it cannot be a concessional one for anyone ha na kindly share your feedback on this and thereafter we are starting up so uh, there are there is one group with five members and then there are uh, two groups with four members each and one group with only three members so these are the three uh, groups that we have rishav have anything to share sir so, uh, actually sir my laptop camera is not working and i am not able to join with my phone sir it's uh, constantly showing that uh, not able to join not able to join no issues no issues i i understand your system uh, and your concept of doing things Uh, we'll try meanwhile if you can arrange because you see for entire four hours you don't need any support means maybe for few minutes you may be asked to come and join this thing so maybe yeah. possible that you can have some family members mobile phone or some laptop from your neighborhood which you can arrange this is only means you can give it a try if it is there then things will be very smooth else we have to go with certain like we have to go work with certain constraints i'll give certain exemption exemptions to you in that hmm? just give it a try if it is possible Okay, so okay, i'll not be putting your group to the first uh, level, uh, level of uh, presentation now you see i i want two things i matlab mean, this is a sort of choice for you now do you want to be there in these presentations throughout or you want to uh, exit immediately uh, at this point of time any i'll be asking one group uh, to start the presentation rest group members can like rest two groups or three groups they can leave and then they can do their own self preparation and once this first group is done i'll give a notice to the second group at least 10 minutes in advance sir you sir mm-hmm. you can take individual group uh, like uh, presentations no then uh, we can get time to uh, prepare ah this is what i'm saying i'm saying you have to give me a response you see i don't want to go into any controversy like if you want to stay back into yes, this sir. session and want to see what is happening with other group members i don't have any challenge i want i would like to have you all onto this platform but still if you feel that you need time to prepare and then come back for your presentation so it is all allowed because in capstone also what we used to do is like when evaluation is going on there are two sets of students one is like who need to have a preparation so you ask them to go out of the class so stay out yes sir, other way was also like this like individual group why was that uh, they uh, they have been taken sir so That's rahul wants individual feedback individual group wise okay uh, rohit individual or group rohit group number 158 uh, rohit varshne said individual okay very good hey rahul tum bhi usko individual likh do group mein individual presentation should be there rishab rishab i need your feedback also into chat message maybe rishab or someone from that group individual uh, rahul okay and then uh, monica also monica because this is like in your group i do see lots of contradictions people do have uh, their reasons that they want to like know what others are doing and uh, you see i was expecting you to have a group uh, thing so that you can understand that the rigorous the level of rigor is there 
in every group is not it is not like uh, some groups are given any special advantage for this thing so it is your choice you can stay here and uh, watch the entire show or uh, it is your choice you want to take an exit want to prepare something and then want to come back but one thing will be there entire group will be moving out or will be staying in it cannot be one fellow will be staying back and then all of them they are moving out so they are taking the benefit of like inside the class activities they know and then outside also they can prepare accordingly so make a call if you are going to be there in stay in if you are going to be moving out then you have to go out on my call so uh, let me let me feel like uh, rohit because they are very active in giving their feedback rohit your group will be first to give your presentation okay let me give you the order and then if you have some constraints or challenge then we can have uh, some swapping of your numbers yani which position you can give your viva there should not be any challenge second is uh, rahul rahul give the second pair rating so rahul your group is supposed to give your second presentation rishab you are supposed to give your third presentation so you will get some time to arrange your alternative device if you have any issue with you and monica yours will be the fourth one because i cannot call you up your members have put me into such a constraint that i cannot like uh, plan something any anything earlier before 12 so it is 10:30 and uh, i expect a, approximately 30 minutes you see when i am at your place and i am doing so much into this uh, subject named as capstone uh, i would always expect more time from a valuator let me tell you one thing again this is for experiential uh, learning and sharing of uh, observations from past few capstones the first few groups who are going to come in into the room for evaluation they will be given the maximum time teacher will understand the process and for next groups who are going to come in up next they will be given somewhat lesser time and the last group who is going to present is going it is very tough for someone to present in the last reason is like uh, teachers have already been saturated to full extent maybe they will be asking you question and but they are dead tired because these activities usually they start from 10 o'clock in the morning and they last till 5 o'clock 6 o'clock 6:30 depending on your panel and me and my panel members my faculty who so ever will be there with me we used to stay back till last last in the sense it is not intentional we are planning something but we used to take interest in the presentation and do ask them some questions so when you are enjoying your process you don't note down your time slots and most of the time we used to cross the limits and then pn used to come in and say sir time ho gaya kindly we can can we leave then we'll uh, like we'll again uh, ask them or request them to uh, have some substitution so that we can stay for long because this is departmental exercise and uh, this is how other faculty member who is sitting with me is under stress ki like i am not leaving so he can also not leave then then why are you late then then why are you late then then put me a chat message for your late reporting this is 10:30 i almost uh, uh, like shared the link before 10 30 minute late arrival is like for evaluation is difficult now you see you know your orders okay so without wasting much of your time i expect rahul you need to have some preparation so you and your team members can skip the meeting you can leave if you want because you said individual so you can leave next is like rishab and team uh you have given your interest like you want to go for a group presentation but your presentation is on third online so you are allowed to have your presence into class but if any member of yours has a different opinion want to have an exit and plan need to plan something then entire group has to move out just take another one minute or so have a word with everyone if you are prepared full uh you are fully prepared then what we can do is like you can stay back into this presentation no problem meanwhile uh ye harsh rohit tenzin mohammad your this serial number one so you should be uh, up there with your presentation on display your presentation and the third group monica it is your call if you want to stay or you want to leave uh, this your group is going to be there presenting it a little bit late i'll give you 10 minute notification and on an average take uh, one and a half hour so staying sir okay you see monica one thing very dangerous that is like if you are staying back and then you are communicating something to team members and this is like th this will be treated as a umc case unfair means okay i know this is very very tough to bring in any special change 
in last minute you have to work so much uh, is like okay let us go with it so rahul oh, yeah, sorry rohit i'm waiting for your presentation to start and i expect rahul yes, sir i'll start uploading okay rahul and team members kindly leave rahul jakkar uh, ashmit sir uh, we have decided to stay in the group so you all all so will be there into the group very good so benefit yes, of okay okay no issues theek hai we'll start with the presentation Uh, you see, I'm putting myself in, onto mute because my background noise may distract you. Uh, right now, my role is not there. You see, I'll be trying to put some chat messages if I need to communicate something very basic. It will be there in chat message. Maybe the team who is going to present will have certain issues like uh, they may be sharing their screen, so will not be able to read the chat. So other team members are requested to be little bit active into chat message uh, messages from my side and. uh if i need to un- ask you a question i'll be unmuting myself and will be coming back okay so this session is being recorded so there is no second chance time limit is there i'll be starting my watch i said you have a time limit of 5 to 7 minutes so maximum in 5 to 7 minutes you have to complete your slides if you have more slides is good if you have less slides is very good so i don't want you to cut down your slides what you have done hard work preparing your slides should be displayed to everyone maybe you can skip those slides which you feel they are not necessary okay so this is how you should do uh ah uh, rohit the team has started sharing the screen good Okay. If he, uh, uh, just no issue. I'm putting myself onto mute, and you can start the presentation. Yeah. Yes. Sir, just I'm just taking thirty seconds more. Okay. Okay. Good background. You see, if any one of you do have certain feedback or something that you want to share. you can just post that thing into your whatsapp group you all have your respective whatsapp group okay if you have some doubts that you want to clear first is like best reason is like you should share it into your this particular chat group because this evaluation is going on right now and then if you are done with it if you are done with it uh, means putting a message into this group and you are not getting my response kindly put it into your whatsapp group because uh, i will be using my parallel whatsapp group also so harsh yes sir so good morning everyone we are group number mgn 158 and our caption title is determinants of e service quality in context of automated banking so this is our caption project title now moving on to the introduction harsh could you please change the slide yeah so uh, in terms of banking industry that we are dealing in the automated banking has been a greater emergence in the recent times as per a report which is written in our need of study as well as per a report by mckinsey between 2007 to 2011 the customers using online banking has surged to 7% that was around 7 fold increase uh, sorry not 7 fold 7% increase in the number of people those who are using internet banking so this has led to the emergence of uh, this particular topic as a major field of study and many researchers have been doing their part on it so if i talk more about the automated banking uh, <coughs> this study will help us to understand the perception like what kind of service quality is affecting the people not just affecting like what sort of service quality are customers actually looking for and what are the factors determinant that affect their decision making while using these internet banking and uh, and the, now moving on to the relationship now how e service quality is related with internet banking so primarily whenever we move on into a bank what do we look for we look for the services that they are offering and based on the services we choose banks now we have seen the private banks have emerged a lot and having a huge market share in the market apart from sbi 
so how they get their uh, how they get such a huge margin it is because of services only that they are offering so service has become a major determinant and while we are dealing with the internet banking so we should look for the e service quality and not just that the increased competition between the private banks have lead have led to such uh, studies apart from that that there are consumers are now getting highly educated people are using internet more and more and india is growing as a at a fastest pace those for uh, for people using internet so this is one of the important crucial factor that one should study with relate uh, in relation to banking and uh, now we have seen there are ample of proofs that show that how the quality is playing a crucial role in banking and it is not just the crucial role we are also thinking that service quality can affect the roi of the banking and uh, <clears throat> this has been said by the as a last weapon by Davi, Davido and Vital in 1989 in their research paper. Arsh, can you please change the slide again? Yeah, okay. Now, for the objective part, we have taken three objectives because the system was taking only uh, system was taking three. Otherwise, we were looking to do only two objectives. so the three objectives that we have formulated that we have that we will be working on this research project are first one is to study the usage pattern of consumers in the context of automated banking services usage pattern in terms of like how often do they use that what sort of services they are using the most which services they like the most and next one is to identify the key determinant like what factors are actually determining the e service quality that whether a, uh, whether it is a trust or whether it is a accessibility or is it a ease of use that consumers feel that this factor is what gives me the most service is what makes me delight while using this service next is to identify the various determinants of self service terminals so what are these self service terminals we have seen in sbi uh, they have opened one touch point where you can go and open your bank account on your own and do all the rest of the transactions that is through only machine so these terminals are known as self service terminals and they are growing at a very surge pace and uh, and we are going to identify that what are the determinants what are the factors that made them significant in today's rohit, world uh, rohit uh, sorry to yes. intervene uh, yes. rohit rahul rishab and uh, monika in the last group all of you are requested to share this particular ppt of yours to me through whatsapp do share your okay. ppt to me right now on whatsapp There will not be any change allowed to you here after. Okay, this is not supposed to be done by phone. So now I have created it now to do it now. Okay, carry on. Rohit, uh, you can carry on with your presentation. Okay. Uh, Harsh, can you please change the slide? Rohit, next part will be taken over by Tenzin, I guess. No, no. I said one person can take the whole presentation. Okay. so for this particular research paper we have taken the descriptive research design so why descriptive it is a descriptive research we get answers to various questions like what how when and where but if you are looking for something exploratory that why this has happened then this study is not concerned with that this particular research design but in our research we are looking at the determinants that what are the determinants and how they are affecting the service quality so this is the optimum uh research design that uh, as per our group that we have used and if we talk about the research methodology so we have used northern india part that is that is also in terms of the rbi database and more on more on we have chosen 300 samples sample size of consumers in the northern india and the type of data we are collecting is the primary data through questionnaire that will be floating online and the sampling method we have used is snowball sampling what is snowball sampling is just we are going to refer to our friends that you share it among your friends it is kind of uh, chain uh, that will be followed and the data analysis tools that we tentatively would be using are going to be spss orange adanco tam amos smart plus and certain graphical representations pro excel so this is about the research design and methodology uh, hush now talking about the limitations so what are the particular limitations that we uh, that are studying having so first and foremost limitation is that we are dealing only in the northern india region and that to as per the rbi database and this includes rajasthan punjab ladakh himachal pradesh jnk haryana 
and two union territories that is Chandigarh and Delhi. Now no, we are not covering the whole part. We are just taking the one major city which has the maximum number of bank branches or these SST terminals (ATM). Uh, we are taking those particular cities only. The, let's say, for example, Jaipur in Rajasthan, Ludhiana from Punjab, Leh from Ladakh, Dharamshala in Madhya Pradesh. Similarly, so we are taking 300 samples from these particular places and. Uh, Uh, other limitation is that due to covid we cannot uh, practically visit those people we cannot get a survey from them so we it is just a question here this these are the limitations for this particular study uh, harsh no so what are the tentative outcomes we are looking at so after when the study will complete we are looking at certain outcomes we will be able to get the first one uh, outcome from this research will be the key determinant that we can identify that these particular determinants are the ones which are most affecting the service quality or the consumer behavior while using these ssc's or internet banking and the next is <coughs> usage pattern what kind of usage pattern consumers have in self service terminology in self service technology and how they are dependent on the Uh, and how uh, the customers are dependent on them how much and up to how up to what extent and the last but not the least is how people interface the changes of automated banking so these are the tentative outcomes that we are looking we should get why uh, after completing the whole research fresh please see this one so uh, that's all about this one thank you so much done sir uh sorry i was mute so uh, i was asking a question to rahul rahul is there any segment in your presentation which covers your review of literature can we go back to that review of literature wala slide do we have lipid filters so this was one of the part we have taken just one part out of it relationship of these service quality with internet banking uh this is good this is good mean uh, uh i actually suggested every group that there has to be some sort of excel uh, uh, format into your presentation itself where you can show three four papers leading papers uh you have taken up another platform another way of expressing the same this is again creative uh, and moreover like you see what you have done is like in usual phd presentations uh, doctorate presentations this is the model which is usually recommended but you see when i am supposed to look at what research papers have you reviewed for your thing can you show me some excel file here where you can show me which papers have been reviewed by you so that i can make some observations out of it and can share okay it was in the uh, uh, let me uh, let me show you just give me one second it is collective actually for all four of us no issue whatever you have kindly share it yes and uh, this transition time from one ppt to another ppt should be little bit faster or ppt okay. or excel file whatever you use kindly do it fast because your presentation time is over now it is into questioning So I do not have the complete data in my phone, but uh, like there are few questions, few papers that I can show.
so this was the data we have uh, that i have in my phone actually let me let me let me go okay okay uh only one request for follow up groups who are going to give their presentation up next the transition time which is taking in this particular presentation is little bit more so all of you should be ready because same sort of questions will be coming to you also okay you never know oh, how harsha go slow go slow i just need a total number of paper unmute yourself your entire team harsha rohit tendin and mohammed unmute yourself and be on standby mode i may ask certain questions to you in particular okay all of you your four team members should be now activated rahul rahul jakar and team members yes sir uh, just be ready in next 5 10 minutes it may be your presentation is up next so be ready with your data ha ah. okay sir you see rohit and other team members in this uh, tension and all you see there are some of the presentation related error, errors in your sheet means bordering is not done properly for all the papers for uh, your code which you have used and the style of writing is varying across the thing you know so this is just indicative that it is a very casual approach of doing things you should have edited this thing also and this i feel this is the same sheet which was shared to all group members from my side you see when i'm asking for review of literature grade it don't means this uh, it which is sir, we have that data as well can you please show uh, the data that uh, we have made on excel like limitations and uh, outcomes and variables that yes 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 that was the grade i am looking for yes sir so meanwhile i am finding it on google if i can download it as soon as possible i'll just show it up okay rohit uh, you have not told me about your peer rating in your group who is supposed to get 7 Sir, I have posted in the chat box. Okay, okay. Let me see there. Yes, I am engaged with you verbally, so I have not missed out that thing. Harsha, how much time will you take uh, to present the other sheet? If you have it, okay. If you don't have it, just let me know so that we can I proceed. Do, I have to just uh, my it is there is a my problem in my PC. Um, the, uh, I understand this thing, and this is an observation for every group. I have, sir. I have a file. No, 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 no issues. Arsha, I don't want you to speak something here, and, and I'm just sharing it to everyone that your laptop may crash, your drive may not open, you may not have like the data, your Excel file may go corrupt. So these are certain things. Maybe electricity challenge will also come in. Some of you will not be able to have a proper power backup. Internet connection disruption may happen. so these are the things for which you should be mentally prepared somewhat in advance okay and uh, don't request your teacher for certain exemptions these situations may happen and may vary now you see he is using a mobile phone in a presentation when i always say to like during present classes you should bring in your laptop and he is trying to do whatever best from his mobile phone i got it i got it some of your excel sheet components they are still shown to be blank review of literature your sheet excel file is shown as blank why it is not there, there was certain there were certain uh, variables which we are not clear by reading those papers so we have left those blank, blank without putting the wrong data okay yes, have sir. you raised any query with your faculty on this uh, yes sir that not was yet, the, sir. that the, the, the paper were also somewhat paid sir so it was very hectic to find that the exact variable so we left that in Arsha, some Arsha, Arsha, are you regular in your class Yes, are you regular in class? You yes, see, sir. there are around ten people right now. For fifteen people is shown to me in my chat message. So there are fifteen people in group, and I, if I take a poll from your entire group here, so um, this may not be a problem with most of them because they know how to download a paid paper. Sir, uh, the like the thing was like. कि सर वो सबसे पहले वाले रिसर्च पेपर थे जब जब क्लास नहीं हुई थी सबसे पहले आपने वर्क दिया था वो वाले वर्क में थे सर तो उसको बाद में आपको जब तरीका पता चल गया कि कैसे डाउनलोड करते हैं विच इज एक्चुअली लिटिल बिट अन एथिकल तो वो तो आप पिछले पेपर्स पे भी तो लगा ही सकते हो ना उसमें क्या है प्रॉब्लम आपको नहीं पता होता टेक्निक नहीं पता है देन इट्स ओके आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड कि आप पेपर नहीं ला पाए बट मैंने तो ये शेयर किया है और आप ये बोलो आपके ग्रुप में नहीं शेयर हुआ तो देन इट इज अ डिफरेंट केस 
बट मैंने मेक श्योर आई मेड इट श्योर दैट एवरी वन शुड है हिंट दिया और बड़े क्लियर आपको लेके गया जब तक आपके वो डाउनलोड नहीं हुए प्रशंसा ने या किसी एक गर्ल स्टूडेंट ने हमारे ग्रुप में ये भी पूछा कि सर मेरा तो नहीं खोल रहा देना है ऑन दैट इंटरफेस इट सेल्फ आई शोड इट की लाइक ये ऐसे ऐसे यू हैव टू गो डी ओ आई समथिंग वॉट यू नीड बोल लेने के बाद यू कैन हैव इट आई अंडरस्टैंड समटाइम्स यू शुड हैव स्टेटेड आपका पॉइंट ऐसे नहीं होना चाहिए था आपका पॉइंट ऐसे होना चाहिए था कि सर ये पेपर तीन डेकेड पुराने थ्री डेकेड बैक के पेपर हैं तो इनकी सॉफ्ट कॉपी नहीं मिल रही है हमने सर्च किया तो वो उसको डी ओ आई नंबर नहीं था उस टाइम पे दिस कैन बी ए मोर अप्रोप्रिएट लॉजिकल आंसर ये मैं आपको फाइनल के लिए बता रहा हूँ बट वो पुराने पेपर्स पे लागू होता है लेटेस्ट पेपर्स जो आजकल में छपे जा रहे हैं छप रहे हैं दे ऑल हैव डी ओ आई नंबर तो उसमें कोई चैलेंज नहीं है उनको ट्रैक करना अनदर सिचुएशन विच में भी आंसर लाइक कैन बी पुट अप हेयर इज लाइक आप उनको ये बता सकते हैं अगर ये फैक्ट है तो झूठ नहीं बोलने का होता कभी कि दीज आर कॉन्फ्रेंस पेपर्स फॉर विच There is no soft copy available, but ये नहीं है कि आपने बोल दिया और पैनल ने मान लिया पैनल दो मिनट में उस पेपर को डूब देगा हाई प्राइम तो दट्स ऑल अच्छा ये दिखाइए टोटल कितने पेपर रिव्यू हुए मैं आपसे पूछ रहा हूं आप नंबर नहीं बता रहे हैं मुझे एक्सेल खोल के दिखा रहे हैं इट शुड दिस नंबर शुड बी नोन टू सेवेंटी हाँ जी सेवेंटी यस सर अच्छा सेवेंटी तो चलो मैं ये नहीं कहता ज्यादा है या कम है बट मैं ये कह रहा हूँ कि यू हैव फोर यू हैव डन सेवेंटी पेपर रिव्यू सेवेंटी पेपर रिव्यू करने के लिए कितना दर्द होता है आई नो अगर आपने सही से किया है तो वाई दिस नंबर इज नॉट नोन टू यू आप एक्सेल फाइल के अंदर क्यों देख रहे हैं अभी ये दिस इज अ वेरी कॉमन क्वेश्चन अभी आपको मैंने पूछ लिया तो बाकी सब ग्रुप सभी रेडी हो जाएंगे नंबर देख के बट दिस इज अस मिस्टेक आपने किया है और आपने रिपोर्ट में भी डाला है और आपने रेफरेंसिंग भी की है सब किया है तो ये नंबर तो आपके टिप्स पे रहना चाहिए ना और ये Uh, इसमें जरा मुझे ईयर ऑफ पब्लिकेशन दिखाओ जरा तो वो जो फर्स्ट है ना एपीए रेफरेंस पहला वाला उसको थोड़ा साइज इंक्रीज कर सकते हो कि मेरे को वही दिखे बाकी मुझे कॉलम्स की जरूरत नहीं है अभी फॉर द मोमेंट सो लेट मी ट्राई हाँ हो जाएगा और थोड़ा बड़ा कर लो गुड इसमें फोन साइज बड़ा कर सकते हैं हम नहीं कर पाएंगे ना फोन में कॉलम को सिलेक्ट करके फ़ॉन्ट साइज़ अगर बढ़ाना हो तो सर लेट मी ट्राई 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 गिव इट अ मीनवाइल मैं बाकी लोगों से क्वेश्चन पूछता हूं। दिन आर यू 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 यस सर सर हैव रेडी योर रिपोर्ट यस कैन आई आस्क अ क्वेश्चन विद योर ड्यू परमिशन ऑफकोर्स Uh, which are the softwares which are stated there? Can you share? Sir, it was Amos, Orange, SPSS. You see, yeah. right? Question is asked yes, to test this. My sorry, question sir, will sorry. always be very specific. Ha, huh? this is maybe you don't know most of you. I'll be asking the question to a particular person and expect the reply from that person immediately without any gap. Okay, huh? sir. Change it. Yes, sir. What are the various softwares that you have reported in your uh, report? Uh, that is Orange. Uh, mm. Mo and uh, Mo SPSS. Mo means ammunition. No sir. <laughs> It is the Mo A M O. A M A M M O. A M M O. Very good. This is ammunition. A M M O means this is a code word in defense. They used to like use this thing for bringing in or supplying additional ammunition to their team forward positions. It is Mo A M O S. Yes, sir. Okay. What are other other softwares that we have? Other uh, orange, sir. Orange, a uh, moss. These are only two. You have written so many. And. Uh, uh yeah, Tenzin, have you been shared the copy of PPT by your team members? Yes, sir. Is it there with you for your self reference separately? Uh, yes, sir. Have you read the PPT? Ah uh, yes, sir. Can you open the slide where it is like? Don't show it to me, but just for your self-reference, you can open your PPT and just read out the names. That is what I'm trying to ask. Okay, sir. Ah, uh, just do it fast. Meanwhile, uh, uh, Ibrahim is there. Ibrahim, can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Done, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, is it S B S S Orange? Ah. Uh, Ed Edenco, Tam, Eden. Amos, Amos, and Smart Smart B L S. A smart PLS and something T A M is also written there. Yeah, I I mentioned this. Is T A M? Ah, uh, what is this T A M? I don't know. 
this is out of my understanding i want to understand this software you need to tell me about tam software okay meanwhile you think on it yes, i'm going to uh, uh, total interest in market no take your time then no problem take your time just give me an answer what, what software is this why we are going to use it uh, ibrahim your question is like uh, which software are you working on like Sir, i'm I'm working you. on amos 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 have you seen some of the videos can you name one expert from youtube who is giving you some of the content on amos Sir, uh, um i don't remember his name that okay so when we don't remember uh so sometimes it's like we don't like that fellow so we don't remember no issue so you are working on amos so what is special in amos why we are supposed to use this software sir it was used for the uh, moment uh, structure moment an analysis for the moment structures and it was specially used in structural equation modeling Yes. And path analysis and confirmatory analysis. So what we have done in most of our research papers, um, the it was technique used like structure equation modeling and confirmatory factors and factor very analysis. Good. Very good, very good. Yes, this is what I was expecting. Like if you have done to such an extent that you know these parameters, next step is like you will be able to incorporate these things into your report also. Okay. Yes, sir. So I'm happy and satisfied uh, with uh, what you said. Let me go to the next fellow. Again, Tenzin, I am going to. Uh, are you ready with your answer? Can I get something from you, Tenzin? Ibrahim, meanwhile, you can mute yourself. What I expected from uh, like you is all done. Tenzin, can you share me the answer? Yes, sir. It's a techno technology acceptance model, sir. So technology acceptance model is a theoretical model. Is not a software. Why have you shared it into your software section? So I thought you were asking for the TM. Ah, Tam. I'm. I was asking you for Tam. Tam only, and this is actually a theory, not a software. So now my point to you is like, why have you put up this theory into a software? Have you done this? Who did this part in your group? Sir, it was like the whole research methodology what we Harsha, are using. Harsha, Harsha, Harsha. Is it you who prepared this PPT, this particular section? Yes, sir. So let me ask it to you. Then, then you are for the moment you are free. Uh, my question is to Arsha. Arsha, uh, can you open that slide once more? Can you share yes. the PPT or ye other other who was doing it? Just show me the slide. Yes, sir. And try to do it little bit faster because half an hour is already over. Yes, We are sir. going into the others territory. You see, always first presentation is going to take most of the time because it will give you clarity on many new aspects which was not known to us. But for next up follow up groups, things will be little bit clear. They'll be able to wind up their presentation a little bit faster. Arsha, I'm waiting for your sharing sir, of PPT. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. I need the PPT. Sir, is it visible now? Ah, yes, yes. Very good. You see, under data analysis. Techniques or tools to be used. You have written TAM. TAM yes, is not a data analysis tool. Smart PLS okay. Graphical presentation is also not a analysis tool. But you see, you can uh, somewhat to some extent it can be okay. Yani you are trying to make some graphs, charts. So, but TAM is a theory, theoretical foundation for your maybe this is your foundation for your concept, your entire study. so it cannot be into your this thing but it might have been your theoretical model if someone is asking you what is your theoretical model of your study then you must have brought in your tam model technology yes. who gave this tam model who was the expert behind this tam model arsha sir the tam model is given by which year how many sir. citations to this model uh sir i don't know no. sir i no no idea sir this is what is i i would like to take you to you see when you are using someone's model suppose you are using my model i gave you a model you are using it it will be a copyright issue you need yes. to put my name into your report one any yani you have to somewhere you have to cite and you have to refer my name into your report one two you should know my name and you should know the background because without knowing the background how can you say that this is your foundation 
and then what is common between tam and your model can i see your proposed model i have asked every group to show me some proposed models diagram of proposed model yani your variables are interconnected on which maybe uh, joshi has shown something in one of our uh, uh, doubt clearing class last week last to last week he has shown a, a flow chart a diagrammatic presentation of entire research is it a, do you have a, a proposed model research model for your study Yes or a no? If you, if no sir, no. Okay. Yes, yeah, no sir. You see, it should be there because wherever you send your paper for publication, posters like they need your proposed research model, and then they want to see the validation part. Like uh, what Ibrahim said is uh, on confirmatory factor analysis. and various other things so it has to be rohit one more thing what software is assigned to you rohit sir orange orange have you gone through the content with how to sir, uh, some of it i have been videos with disha acharya and data science mastery it is majorly for efa exploratory factor analysis where we have qualitative data and we use the for we use it for uh, visualization graphics and uh, mining very good very good now uh, can you tell me what sort of uh, like support can we get from this software for your report is your data qualitative that you are going to collect through questionnaire is it going to be a qualitative data or a quantitative data sir so it will be qualitative because we are taking the factors and then we have to find that whether those factors are actually relevant or not that we will confirm through cfs rohit you know this or you are just taking a guess rohit do you know this have you read something on this or you are just taking uh short without knowing much so uh, if we have briefing what you have told is that uh, we'll be taking our factors through efa and then we'll confirm that no, no, they no. are actually relevant my, or not my question so is easy. not what i said my question is like you said uh this software orange is having qualitative data analysis my question was like what you are doing in your study data collection uh through questionnaire is it a quantitative data collection or a qualitative data collection for your analysis then you said what you did is like is your data qualitative in nature what i felt from your discussion is like yes you are because you are taking their feedback and then based on that feedback you are making certain factors is qualitative so uh, i'm just saying ki what you are sharing like this is known to you have you referred some material have you got some understanding watching some video or this is your just your uh, your kind of uh, assumption No, no, sir. I have read, I have uh, like watched few videos on Orange, where I learned that it is about the qualitative data analysis. And uh, have you saw something in those two videos that you can use data from a questionnaire in the form of Likert scale for this analysis? Not yet, sir. Oh, that is what is my doubt. Uh, so okay, not yet means this is where you have a confusion. So maybe yes, what you're saying is correct initially in introductory. Uh, part of orange is okay but when you go to your study your type of data collection the applicability of orange on to your data uh, right now is a question mark you need to go through it again and see and then uh, tendrin can i call you back yes sir which sampling technique have you used so sir which sampling technique have you used to figure out your sample is sampling technique mm. it's so normal uh, normal mm. so no issue no harsha harsha mute yourself harsha mute harsh mute yourself sorry sir sorry no issue then then uh, which sampling technique sir snow snow boss sir 
now what is snowball sampling is it a prob a random sampling technique or is it a, like uh, uh, there are two types of sampling probability driven and non probability driven so when i say snowball sampling it goes into probability or it goes into non probability sampling techniques which type of uh, sir non probability sir non probability so now uh, don't you think this will be very biased you going to few of the people whom you know and then they'll circulate the questionnaires through their networks uh, don't you think this will be going to give you a biased response maybe all youngsters will be coming in into your survey no senior citizen no. or youngster, like uh, middle age group people will be involved yes you sending me a survey for filling means and you request me to send it to for further friends i'll share it to my age group same age group is actually under coverage so what about the other age groups no that sir so actually the thing is that we are uh, our topic is on the it banking right sir so it's mm. going to use by the young people so obviously you need to no. for the future sir you see anyone who is using banking <coughs> yeah is trying to change the entire model of doing banking so you want to cut, yes. cut down your branches and you want to make everything automated this is going to affect your senior citizens your middle age group people uh, senior uh, like uh, between middle and senior category also housewives who have never been out rural areas they will be badly hit so your style of doing things is totally disruptive maybe easy for youngsters but not easy for other communities so don't you think this study should have been focusing more of like others not mainly your youngsters so, <coughs> so to be honest, to be honest sir, we should focus on the old people youngster and the old citizen but the thing is that the uh, we have limited our uh, Uh, research on the northern part only sir that's why uh, sir in north we do have senior citizen too dear yes yes sir we do sir like but the, this day sir we but i was uh, i mean like uh, we going to take questionnaire from the online basis sir that's why so it would be uh, difficult for the old people to use the mostly the old people doesn't use uh, that uh, phones and you know, sir that's why Okay. And under this pandemic so it will be difficult for us to you know uh, do a survey offline so you see still uh, some way down the line because of pandemic you cannot restrict all your studies to youngsters some way down the line you four of you or five of you whoever is your team member you may have your locality you may have your family friends uncles and all you may have taken their feedback and if you can yes, do sir, we can we, we we can do that sir but but yeah. it will be still will be uh, you can you could mention that bias because can you show me something the... in your now you see uh, can you show me something in your uh, limitation of study where you are only catering it to youngsters not to senior citizen and middle age group people can i see something in this harsha just show me the uh, limitation may travel is north india okay state are written cover okay it is a uh, confined okay sir we have cleared it we have stated that in the limitations like we are taking 300 respondents which might be insufficient insufficient or like you know, will not give the exact uh, arsh my question is nothing to do with the sample size my question is not on sample size right now my what i am asking is like i am asking you about the different age group So we can also target in the in the like in the sampling we can also target the all all the like all the age groups so are you not clear are you not clear you are saying we can are you not clear on what you are going to do next you see one semester gone next yes, semester coming up means you have to do data collection somewhere in between during your like if you have some gap during exam and then post examination during evaluation if you have some days gap then you can do it in this period you need to have clarity there is nothing written into your law of uh, limitation of study so how can you quote that you have some restrictions and you are going only with this <coughs> so actually we are not only going with the youngsters so we are also going with the uh, in we have in uh, pvd we have clearly mentioned that we do not you know uh, uh, discriminate or uh, that uh, we do not any uh, bias any uh, culture or anything so we we can go we are going to collect data from all people sir okay sir, Rahul, sir, I, sir, as our topic is sir uh, usage of Arshad, the e service quality Arshad, sir just a, harsha just a minute rahul jakka are you there yes yes sir your team is ready for presentation yes sir i think ready just take a confirmation in next 2 minutes you will be called in for your presentation okay sir you see rohit uh, presently rohit yes sir 
we are giving the presentation great sir you see once i am done with your presentation here i have certain more questions to be okay. asked i'll be doing it separately so uh, for this particular question uh, i would like to say that while circulating our question is we will be mentioning it along with the question that this question is uh, that this question is should be filled uh, by those people who are actually using it those who are uh, uh, like somewhat educated that's people that's where we can get a better uh, response about the service quality rather than those let's say there is a certain there is some elderly person of 60 years age who is not using internet banking so we could not get much data or the actual response out of him so our main primary target would be those who are using it and there is no age restriction we will be writing it along with the questionnaire let's circulate it with those uh, who are using it not just uh, your friends even your family members can find it this seems to be more logical okay good that you have picked up the point and you see uh, if you want to have some limitations one thing here you have given your limitation of study in a paragraph try to put it into points point by point ha huh? so it will be easy for uh, like reviewer or uh, evaluator to understand what sort of thing is there i have still many questions on to your presentation so what i suggest you is like don't leave this if you don't have an urgent piece of work because i have reserved some of the questions for other group members also just be there listen to what i'm asking so that you can incorporate those things those changes into your presentation also okay maybe what i asked to you and your team members have given some light to other people okay okay rahul has given so rahul you are next kindly share your presentation arshak withdraw your presentation please so rohit now it is it is all on to you to decide whether all four of you are going to stay back into group or any one of you can stay back and make make the notes of what things are being done preferably i feel like it is individual contribution so you need to learn it of your own should not be given some spoon feeding from others so if you stay back you can observe certain more things from others presentation too okay and i hope okay. this was a learning experience you got some new aspects uh, in terms of defending your presentation and one thing is there what you know should be known to all four or five members so that you are at same pace same level you should not be caught uh, like um, by the pen panel members that you have disagreement in your opinion so that disagreement element should not be there and all questions should be taken up very smartly like when i asked initially uh, tenzin and uh, harsh they were not able to have a clarity on what i am asking for but rohit came up with very good idea logically so this is how but again evaluator may say ki rohit have you not discussed this thing earlier so why you do have a difference in opinion so this is very important so this time you don't have any chance for getting a dummy presentation but when you go to final presentation do go through some dummy presentation of yours so that you come up with all these issues let me sure, start sir. thank you sir let me let me start with the second presentation at 11:15 Okay. Rahul you can start sharing your screen. Rahul yes, sir, Ashmit, 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 Ashmit will Ashmit, sir. Prashant sir, uh, Girish, they are four in team member they will be giving their presentation. Sir uh, sir uh, I'm sending request sir for uh, screen share sir. There is no need to have any request from my side uh, I have not stopped anyone from any sort of sharing is there any problem with you rohit your group members while you are sharing it so no, here is written you must uh, grant permission in order to screen share uh, yes written sir oh uh, then what you can do is like ye kya bolo ashmit can you share it to yani uh, your ppts must be there with rahul prashansa and other so any one of uh, uh, any other team member of your group can share the slides into the group oh okay sir just tell Done. me if you have the same challenge or share it to me i'll uh, like i'll do the sharing if you cannot manage but avoid me uh, being used in your presentation because i have to go for your evaluation second group i'm writing the second group presentation hmm. just do it fast yeah i need your presentation to be there try to wind up your presentation in 5 to 7 minutes max uh, go fast if you use less time maybe some rewards will be given to you uh, so try to use this bonus opportunity okay uh, very good prashant sir is this is what is team work you come up help your team members and then like wherever there is a need you can support them very good so go to the first slide now presentation can be given by anyone now rahul who is going to give your presentation in your group sir ashmit will start from we all uh, like we all contribute to the part 
So uh, let me ask G Grish to start this presentation. Take to the first slide. Sir Grish, uh, don't have uh, like uh, he he have prepared the uh, only like few parts because he was not uh, present and he was not away, uh, like healthy. He's sick, you sir. Think, Rahul, don't underestimate Grish in any sense. Hmm? Grish knows everything technically. He is very well updated on what you people are doing. Maybe he is not contributing, but you people are doing your best. Have you shared your PPT to Grish well in time? Yes, sir. We have shared the data. When have you shared the data? Data means this PPT. We <laughs> shared in the yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday to, uh, like. I feel like ten hours. Night. Ten hours are more than sufficient. Maybe early morning today he wake up and then he did his presentation. Your group is one twenty two. I got your PPT. Yes, G Girish, please start. Uh, I am audible, sir. Yes, yes, you are audible. Okay. Is Girish there in group? Girish. Girish is available. He is visible. But I want Girish. Please do start your presentation. <laughs> Girish, are you there? Yes, sir. Ah, please do start the presentation. Don't consider yourself as uh, somewhat not fit because I feel like the sort of rigor that you have all put into your assignment is like you can manage it. Hmm? Even yes, though Ashish and Rahul they took the lead, uh, but you are also an active member into your group. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. Good, morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, good morning. Sir, my uh, uh, so I need to con conclude the. Uh, I need to compute this, sir. Ah. So, sir, Grish, you have to you have to start from the introduction. Is it the first slide? Rahul, is it the first slide that you have? Is the slide. This is first slide. Okay. Take me to the first slide. This is the overview, and the presentation start from here, sir. No, no. Go go to the title page first. Ah. Title page. Keep it there on the title page. Don't jump on to this. Ah, this is uh, correct. Ah, Girish. Yes, sir. You can start your thing. Like there are fourteen <coughs> members: Ashmit, Rahul, Prashanta, Girish, Gaba. Uh, yes, sir. In what order have you written your registration number? In what sequence is it alphabetically arranged? Is it alphabetically or is it ascending or descending? No, no sir. No, sir. It is random, sir. Not alphabetically. Random. Very good. Random is the best <laughs> way of doing things. Tell you, no issue. So, is this somewhat related to pair rating also? The same order? <laughs> yes, sir. It, it has been given according to the work, the like, okay, the okay. Team members okay. have done. That's great. That's great. No problem. A study on manage a study on managing self service technology service quality uh, in bank to enhance e satisfaction. Wait, just a minute. Uh, is this the same title which was given to you from my side? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Ashish, uh, just you see, I've shared one uh, snapshot of a uh, UMS in which your title was there. Can you in your WhatsApp group? Can you reselect that thing so that I can see that title? I have certain doubts and reservation. Anyone of you can do it. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, Prashansa, can I ask you a question? Prashansa, Prashansa, are you there? Prashansa, are you there? Yes, sir, I'm there. You, you are not responding to my question. Now. That's why I'm uh, just curious to know are you there or not. Now, uh, no, no, I'm there. 
Okay. Uh, sir, that uh, I am you. You told us not to check the uh, topic on WhatsApp snapshot. Ha 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 ha. Means let your team members do it. You ask answer some of my questions. Have you read the title? Have you read this title? The picture is coming out, right? Yes, sir. Uh, can you tell me why in this title, managing me M is capital? Okay, this is one thing. Second thing is like a study on managing self-service technology service quality in bank to enhance e-satisfaction. So there are two three words into your presentation in this particular title. So why M is first capital? Can you tell me this thing? This is a grammatical error, I suppose. Uh, so, uh, uh, if we are going for uh, a topic, the so first word should be in capital, I think. So, so in that case, study S should be capital, self-service technology, SST should be capital, quality may Q should be capital, bank may B should be capital, enhance may E should be capital, and satisfaction may S should be capital. Yeah. Give me a logical response because all your responses, if they are not supposed to be illogical, or they are illogical to some extent. Then you see, this is an evaluative platform. No more a friendly discussion. You have to use your reasoning for explaining what I am asking. I feel like there is an error in your writing of your typing. Yes, sir. Actually, there is an error in typing, sir. That's why uh, the it, it was like Rahul, some grammatical you, error. No, no, no issues, Rahul. Have I asked you to come and discuss? Only thing is, like one person at a point of time, I'll be asking you questions. I know Prashanta is short in terms of review of literature and last 20-30 days of work. So some things which are very general can be asked to Prashanta for you I cannot ask a technical question. So understand my position also. It is very difficult to evaluate, uh, like uh, in a very fair way to everyone. Okay, no issues. Girish, uh, Prashanta, ma'am, can you shift this slide to the next slide? Yeah, sure, sir. Yes, sir. So this is the overview. It includes introduction, context, information purpose of study such framework uh, there is a big bolded square at the top and a small bolded dot on a uh, circle something research framework what is this i don't get you this concept of overview uh, let me pinpoint ha uh, girish girish this is your question do you agree yes, with this format do you agree with this uh, set of format what they have put up in their presentation overview introduction Context information, purpose of study, and research framework. Why it is not one, two, and number three? Why research framework has been taken up separately? Introduction is maybe uh, point one. Research frame framework maybe point two. But where are the other things? Like uh, you have a bibliography. Uh, I have not checked the bibliography for the previous group. Can I see your bibliography if you have? No, sir. We don't have. Very good. Okay, can I? Uh, can you go to the next slide? Girish, can you share me something on the significance of the study? Uh, so, sir, like e satisfaction is uh, something we study on. Uh, sir, like uh, it help. Uh, sir, our topic is e satisfactions. Uh, What is the relevance of this study? Significance of this study? Why are you doing this? Have you sir, sir, yeah. hmm. sir, like we can say that e satisfaction is uh, something like uh, it is a con it is a containment of a consumer uh, which uh, with. Uh, mm -hmm. Carry on. Carry on. Carry on. It is a uh, sir. It is a containment of a consumer which we uh, which uh, which we prior pr which he she he he she do with purchasing uh, with his ex experience experiences with uh, ah. managing self service technology service quality to enhance e satisfaction. A study नहीं था उसमें और bank भी नहीं था कहीं तो you have brought in you see इसमें करना क्या चाहिए था हाँ थोड़ा सा last में I am just telling you on your title आप तो e satisfaction पे बता रहे थे but I got a snapshot from someone in group तो उसमें point क्या है कि 
आपको करना क्या चाहिए था मैनेज टाइटल इज सपोज टू बी सेम मैनेजिंग सेल्फ सर्विस टेक्नोलॉजी सर्विस क्वालिटी टू एनहांस ई सेटिस्फेक्शन अ स्टडी ऑफ इंडियन बैंकिंग अ के स्टडी ऑफ इंडियन बैंक ऐसे करके आपको टाइटल कंप्लीट करना चाहिए था यू पुट इन कंसेप्ट ऑफ अ बैंक समवेयर इन बिटवीन अ स्टडी इन द स्टार्ट इज समथिंग नॉट लॉजिकल ये आपको टाइटल को ही रिजेक्ट करेंगे लोग जो भी जहां पे भी यू विल बी सेंडिंग दिस फॉर पब्लिकेशन तो माई टाइटल वॉज मैनेजिंग सेल्फ सर्विस टेक्नोलॉजी सर्विस क्वालिटी टू एनहांस ई सेटिस्फेक्शन एंड देन यू राइट अ स्टडी ऑफ इंडियन बैंक a study in context of indian banks this is how you should put up your title chali now uh, let me come back to your presentation just give me a minute so uh, significance uh, ye apna girish gap kya hota hai gap in a study what do you mean by gap in previous studies iska kya matlab hota hai sir i am not able to hear you sir uh my voice is gone now hello Girish, I am able to listen to you very clearly. Yes, sir. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am saying, what do you mean by gap in a study? I don't know about that, sir. Okay, Prashan sir, what do you mean by gap? So gap in the where we are lacking uh, in terms of studying, like our top, uh, what is the significance? What we are doing? We are conducting, uh, we are doing study in terms of assist. That how assist are impacting e satisfaction towards the customer. So where is the gap uh, is lacking? So how we can cover up the gap? The study is all. So what do you mean by review of gap in review of literature? Some sort of so gap. gap. What do you mean by this? Uh, okay. sir gap in review of literature it means like ki uh, at the time of uh, we are reviewing the literature what are the problems they are facing like the people are facing and how we are conducting the research on the same sir this review of literature means already research papers are there in abundance you are reviewing it yes. and during that review process i am saying what do you mean by gap so gap don't means uh, what you are saying that you are giving me a practical answer you are giving me a practical answer on ground ki like how customers are taking it negatively some sort of gap in service delivery process that you are trying to build up first identification is to supposed to be there and then you'll do something needful so that banks will change their model of delivery and then they co- come up with a new better version of uh, solution which don't have yes, this sir. gap but uh, my question is not this my question is like when you do review of literature and someone ask you like have you identified a gap what do you mean by this in review of literature sir in this like a uh, review of literature gap means like where we are lacking in review of literature like we are following uh, like it's uh, it's like we are we, we are reading the uh, review and we are uh, conducting uh, research on the same sir so sir maybe it is think, a gap ha uh, huh, nahi it's not a gap sir like where we are not able to identify the actual uh, thing on re- on liter- on review of literature uh, the data is like uh, are you done yes sir but i am not getting a satisfactory answer on this so now my uh, i if i change my question the same question is there but i am changing the wording why we used to do review of literature sir review of literature we are doing because many people have done the same research earlier Uh-huh. so what are the factors they are facing and how the things are uh, they have taken uh, the same research uh, they have taken uh, how many people like how many uh, okay. sample size what is the sample size and how the it's it's like a path so we can follow them and we can uh, go with a uh, better uh, better so where is the gap in it where is the gap in it you you are trying to copy something which is already done by other experts other researchers so you are just taking reference of those paper and you are trying to do the same in your study where is the gap in it sir not we are doing the same we are also taking uh, like we are me- meeting Prachanta, with bank i want you to explain me the concept of gap i don't gap, want okay. Uh, okay sir okay you are sir. consuming almost 2 to 3 minutes and then even now i am not able to understand what is gap in review of literature because whenever you do something 
you start a topic so the first thing which is for sure going to be there in all of you in all your presentations in future to come in is like they'll ask you what gap have you identified what is the process of this uh, <coughs> excuse me what is the process of this identification of gap <coughs> how review of yes, literature sir. helps you in it sir uh, so it's giving information review of literature if you are not reading it's a insufficient uh, insufficient uh, uh, information we have how can you say your information is sufficient or insufficient right now you have a uh, total what what is the total number of papers that you have reviewed for your this particular presentation so for this particular uh, we have reviewed 25 and any uh, in this we have written 25 but uh, if we say uh, we have reviewed uh, 25 plus 25 50 more than 50 uh, review we have done sir so but not published this is for the entire group yes sir only 50 yes no sir we have published 25 in this uh, paper you see but you we have reviewed more than prashant yes, sir do the words which are appropriate you have not published you have referred 25 papers yes. and those yes, papers sir, have been written into this report this is not publication you cannot publish publish till the time you are to complete with your study and findings okay you have referred them you have cited them into your report so the words that you are using is sometimes going to make a big difference because the next thing is like i'll ask you what do you mean by publication in your definition of publication you will give me something which is not relevant mm so use such certain things which are usually used in research papers so uh, you said uh, you have done uh, like Ra can i bring it let me bring in someone parallel to you rahul are you there rahul yes sir yes sir so total how many papers have been used in this particular report when you are submitting your report review of literature wala chapter how many total papers numbers i need sir uh, like we have done um, uh, many reviews sir but we have like uh, exact jab jab sir complete ho raha tha so hum add karte ja rahe the sir hum, yeah. humne uske andar kafi add kar diye sir see that's correct but mere ko ek number do na yaar kya add kar diya kya minus kiya it's not important aap mere ko bolo sir hamari report mein 30 papers hai 35 papers hai 60 papers hai ek number dene ka hai na jo actually aapke report mein you cannot be qualitative in your response ki sir hum karte ja rahe hain aur aate ja rahe hain but aaj aapne ek report submit kar diya mujhe In that report, you have used some limited number of papers. मुझे उन papers के number चाहिए. मुझे नहीं पता आप आगे कितने add करोगे. That is not my question. मैं पूछ भी नहीं रहा हूँ. आप क्या add करो, क्या minus करो is all your discretion. But आज जो report आपने submit किया, उसमें आपके पास कितने papers used हुए? मैं वो number पूछना चाह रहा हूँ. Sir, sir, we have done some like more than fifty, sir. More than fifty is again qualitative. वैसे ही एक हवा में उड़ रहे हो. तो पकड़ना चाहिए इसको सही से पिन पॉइंट करो क्योंकि देखो बट सर इसके अंदर जो हमने हमारी रिपोर्ट जो हमने आपको दिखाया डेटा उसके अंदर से 24 है बट हमने वैसे अपनी तरफ से काफी किए हैं सर जो मतलब हाँ इस, इस जो आपको हमने प्रेजेंट किया इसके अंदर से 24 रहे इस डाटा के अंदर बट हमने सब ने जो मतलब इंडिविजुअली जो हम सब ने किया है वो लाइक तो अगर हम देखें तो सर हमने तीस तीस तो कर ही लिए होंगे सर लाइक थर्टी तीस तीस कर लिया ना दिस इज इम्पोर्टेंट बट मेरा मानना ये है कि रोहित अगर मैं रोटी बना रहा हूँ ना घर वालों के लिए राहुल सबके लिए घर वालों के लिए और वो रोटी बनाने का प्रोसेस मुश्किल है तो मुझे एग्जैक्ट नंबर पता है कि मेरे को कितने दिन कितने पापड़ बेलने पड़े हैं इट इज नॉट फोर्टी फाइव के हमने टोटल रिव्यू वैसे कर दिया सर ऑलमोस्ट कम्प्लीट है सर उनका अच्छा 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 चलो कोई नहीं इट्स गुड बट पॉइंट ये है कि हमें नंबर नहीं पता दिस इज समथिंग नॉट गुड तो next uh, uh okay let me go back to someone else uh, who is next who is not ashmit ek minute aiye i need your feedback yes sir ashmit aap presentation dijiye you okay, take sir. your another two minutes to wind up your presentation okay uh, sir uh, so so today i'm going to talk about uh, on the uh, topic of uh, Managing sales service technology service quality to enhance on e satisfaction. So on the significant of this study, uh, we have uh, this study will be useful for banks and other to see the impact of sales terminal service and e satisfaction. This study helps in understanding what attitude customer have 
towards the sales terminal service and what action should a bank takes in order to benefit from opportunity and how all overcomes these challenges this study can be used other resource as reference who want to study further in this or related area to solve as a reading materials for anyone who is interested this resource will alter elder a banker tomorrow problem today in order to get intended customer satisfaction as this service can be said it is the infra stage in the country and the introduction of this topic like uh, sales service terminal is uh, terminal is the terminal which all the task is done by machines and people rather than human staff like right? it's called sales service terminal because all the things are done by people only and there won't be any employee and customer inference only contact will be the machines it can it can be classified as bank branch without uh, bunker in a bank and it also be defined on next generations bank branch by offering automation bank in product and service without a manual invention uh, <laughs> and next slide person sir so the common ex example of uh, sales service terminal uh, include automate uh, tailor machines atm check deposit uh, machines like uh, cash deposit machine passbook printing machines and multi function sicos uh, it also called e lobby e launch and e gallery it uh, different from bank to bank today in competitive world uh, many company are facing the losses company should reduce the operating expenses to be safe in competitive world launch this technology because to retain the customer and to stay in in this competitive market ashmit, ashmit sorry to intervene only thing is like if you can go little bit faster with your presentation just giving us an overview will be good because if you go like this may may be possible that you will take more time just wind up your entire okay. thing in another one or two minutes max okay okay sir so objective uh, so objective uh, of this story is to understand the usage pattern of business sales service technology okay okay uh, ashmit you stop prashant sir kindly start from here okay sir objective of the study that why we are doing study on e satisfaction to understand the pattern of using the banking services in technology to measure uh, e satisfaction of customer who are using um, assistance uh, like uh, what are the satisfaction they are getting or not and what are the uses of that and to examine the key determination of e satisfaction uh, e uh, self termination services that are leads to e satisfaction is is satisfaction is e satisfaction in what terms the trust uh, uh, so people uh, are having uh, trust or not okay okay prashant sir one one question that is like you are using a word determinant the hmm. third thing is like it is determinant not determination determination and determinants they are different yes. you are using determination is not the correct thing here it is determinant okay carry on yes sir so is satisfaction in what contents first trust that the people are having trust in using assistees or not the discomfort discomfort if we see people who are age higher than 50 they are getting discomfort in using this technology insecurity that uh, if we see earlier time like before two or three years the people are insecure about their assistee that whether the uh, the transaction failed or not easy of use but right now it's very easy to use let me let me let me intervene again sorry sorry to disturb you again prashant sir uh, because of scarcity of time we cannot go ahead with full presentation uh, i am clear with why are you doing this topic uh, with whatever limited sort of discussion we had but only thing is like like you have three these, these three objectives with you in this study can you share prashant, this is a question to you prashant sir yes sir. So can you can you tell me how you are going to achieve these three objectives so these three objective first uses the pattern which we have already done each of our member went to bank or we we had a talk with the bank head manager head we get to note that what are the uh what are the uses of the patterns with the interaction as well we were having a set of questions in that we were asking about the uh the same that how many people are using the use it pattern of the same that people are using assistee or not and 
is that comfortable or not the set uh, the second is to measure is satisfaction of consumer who is using assistees the second we are also also done with the talking with uh, had had an interaction with the bank manager they told us that when appro appro uh, approximately uh, 80% of people are uh, satisfied with these user but 20% are not so they are going for uh, like uh, coming to bank and they are not using e lobby and uh, assistees as well the third to examine the key uh, key determinants of uh, satisfaction service that will lead to so we have, we will also conduct in questionnaires for the same that there we will get to, uh, in contact with the uh, customers who are using bank services so we get to know that they are comfortable and what are the uh, factors they are affecting in our study uh, sir uh, sir uh, sir uh, so we have done this uh, first objective sir uh, according to sir cluster analysis sir uh, and uh, sir uh, 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 sir uh, first sir actually sir uh, two sir first and second objective was uh, analysis to cluster analysis uh, sir uh, and descriptive tip sir and third uh, point sir we have uh, it is the factor analysis sir uh, which has uh, which are in different variable variable is affected that by e satisfaction sir we, which we have uh, done to okay okay i got your point rahul i want your intervention now you see what prashansa said is all based on uh, feedbacks from branch heads so for question 1 she said she like you have already done it so is it based on uh, branch uh, managers feedback that you are going to get your usage pattern where uh, shmit has a disagreement he said that this is based on consumers feedback what is your take on it rahul sir actually uh, the uh, managers from where we have collected the data they they have given the feedback on the basis of their customers like they know that how the uh, their customers are um, uh, yes Like, uh, interacting with them and how they are uh, okay. like coming okay. into banks and what uh, what are their uh, like oh are leave it now tell me important. what is your call on it so the objective one is to be done through bank managers feedback so okay. actually uh, what we have done uh, overall objective uh, i'll tell you that we have uh, uh, like uh, taken questionnaires and we have uh, uh, the questionnaires we have uh, filled uh, we have filled with the help of the managers so they know that how uh, they all uh, in the questionnaires they have given their feedbacks that how the customers are responding towards the like uh, towards so these assistant platforms so, so let so, me continue. and research papers also uh, we have hel- uh, taken took help from the research papers also we get to know know that uh, like uh, this assistant platform, platform is how it is going to be used okay okay so according to you this is uh, like based on managers feedback and based on review of literature whatever you have done girish can you share something on it what is your take on objective one how you are going to achieve it is it through your uh, feedback from manager or is it through feedback from customer what is your take because right now rahul prashansa in one side and ashmit is on the other side i want to have your feedback also on to C- customer sir are are ashmit not to you but to girish yes sir girish yes sir what is your take ki kaise karenge objective one jo likha hua hai मैनेजर की फीडबैक से हो गया काम या रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर से जो हमने कर लिया सारा उनमें देखे लोग कैसे फीडबैक दे रहे हैं ऑन एवरेज सेकेंडरी डेटा अवेलेबल है हम उससे ही अपना यूसेज पैटर्न डिफाइन कर सकते हैं अपनी स्टडी के लिए या हमें कुछ नए लोगों से बात करके उनसे कुछ पूछना पड़ेगा इसके ऊपर सर हम नए लोगो से पूछ के भी कर सकते हैं सर यार कर तो बहुत सकते हैं आप बताओ आप क्या कर राइट सर बोथ आर राइट कैसे हो सकते हैं यार आप अपनी स्टडी में या ए लोगे या बी लोगे दोनों नहीं ले सकते अब आप बताओ आप अश्मित के साथ जाएंगे या आप राहुल और प्रशंसा के साथ जाएंगे आपकी जगह चाहिए हमें किधर जा रहे हैं आप सर राहुल और प्रशंसा सर वेरी गुड चलिए मैं इस पे अभी कोई टिप्पणी नहीं करूंगा आई जस्ट वाइंड अप मतलब ये क्वेश्चन पे मैं इस पे ज्यादा बात नहीं कर रहा हूँ बाकी आई हैव अ डिस्कशन विथ यू लेटर सेपरेटली इन योर ग्रुप क्योंकि वो कुछ ग्रुप स्पेसिफिक हो सकता है मैं अभी आंसर इसलिए भी नहीं कर रहा हूं क्योंकि हो सकता है फॉलोअप ग्रुप्स में भी कुछ ऐसे ही थॉट प्रोसेसेस हो वेरिएशन हो तो उस पर हमें कहीं ना कहीं कंसेंसस नहीं चाहिए अभी कुछ तो लेट मी कंप्लीट मैं बाद में आपको इसके ऊपर वॉइस मैसेज में क्लैरिटी दे सकता हूं अभी ठीक है लेट मी गो इन टू द नेक्स्ट थिंग अब हम फिर किसको पूछते हैं लेट मी गो टू राहुल राहुल जरा थोड़ा मुझे ये बताइए This is the slide which I was expecting. आपने ये सैंपल साइज थ्री कैसे कैलकुलेट किया कैन यू टेल मी द कंप्यूटेशन प्रोसेस ऑफ डिफाइनिंग योर 
first uh, what is your population can you explain and then second can you explain right. how you have picked up your sample size out of it Well, actually, we have this. We have uh, write this sample size like randomly because in future we are going to record this. Uh, take the uh, like uh, take the questionnaires and the areas you have given us to uh, like do research, like Chandigarh and Ludhiana. So, so actual, Rahul, actual sample sample size Rahul, is seventy five, I think, sir. Actual sample size is only seventy five, and you have given it as three hundred in your report. तीन हजार लिख लेते तो यू टोल्ड अस तू सर यू टोल्ड अस तू लाइक डू ओनली सेवेंटी फाइव ये रिकॉर्डिंग चल रही है मैं ऑन रिकॉर्डिंग बोल रहा हूँ कि राहुल गोली मार दूँगा मैं क्यों कह रहा हूँ कि मेरा नाम नहीं आना चाहिए यू आर प्रेजेंटिंग योर टॉपिक अगर आपको कुछ रैशनल नहीं लगता है ठीक नही है तो नो वन कैन फोर्स यू मैं कौन हूँ on recording i am telling it to you this is on record mai teacher hu i am just guiding you if you like my suggestion okay incorporate kariye agar nahi pasand hai aap nahi kariye mai no, no, actually, we, have, we have just uh, 75 but uh, in the so for future for future uh, research we have uh, written this on, on the paper okay let me ask it to prashan sir prashan sir bataiye rational kya hai 300 kaise aaya uh, what is your population and what is your sample size The sample size is 300. We have taken like we we will conduct uh, uh, 75. But we have like four members. So 75 questions we will conduct from each person. In that we have also uh, gone in like uh, what are the age group we are targeting? Like 25 for the people who are in who are age like age of 50 uh, above and uh, of below 50. We have taken uh, 50 person. 50, 50, 100. What about the rest 200? No sir, it's each each person like so we can see hundred we are taking hundred uh, we are uh, doing questionnaires on people who are uh, ab about age fifty and two uh, hundred with the like people who are below hundred above hundred below so this is two hundred why you have two hundred sir no sir two hundred two hundred questionnaire for those who are below fifty age and hundred for those Who are above fifty? Why is this discrimination being made with senior citizens? Because, sir, uh, as we are seeing, uh, it's a new technology. If we go with the the uh, equal equal or uh, with the with this Can, slope, I got your point. I got your point. What you are trying to say? Can you show me any research paper where same sort of discrimination has been used by some researcher? No, sir. So how can you do this then? अपने घर का राज थोड़ा है कि कुछ भी कर लेंगे इफ यू आर डूइंग समथिंग इट हैज टू हैव अ स्टैटिस्टिकल एविडेंस उसको कहीं स्टैटिस्टिकली प्रूव करना पड़ेगा एंड आई एम नॉट टेलिंग इट टू यू ये सभी 12 लोगों के लिए 14 लोगों के लिए 18 लोग दिख रहे हैं पता नहीं वो डबल लॉग इन किए हुए हैं मैं सबके लिए कन्वे कर रहा हूं कि वेन आई डू समथिंग देर हैज टू बी स्टैटिस्टिकल और सम सॉर्ट ऑफ रिव्यू सपोर्ट फॉर इट आप अपने से कुछ नहीं कर सकते मैंने राहुल को पूछा मुझे लगा कि राहुल शायद कुछ सही से जवाब दे पाएगा क्योंकि राहुल मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम ही इज लीडिंग दिस ग्रुप बट इस ग्रुप में लॉट्स ऑफ कंफ्यूजन आर देर लेट मी टेल यू बहुत गैप है आप कर सकते हैं लेकिन कर नहीं रहे हैं यूटिलाइज नहीं हो रहा है सेट हर कोई अपना फुल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन नहीं दे रहा है आई होप अभी शायद प्रशंसा आपको ये फील हो रहा होगा कि आपकी एबसेंस में ग्रुप कहां से कहां जा रहा है <laughs> आपको देखना पड़ेगा कि आपको कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट करना है इसमें एंड सो दैट योर ग्रुप शुड बी एट पार विद लाइक अदर्स इसमें आप देखो जो चीजें कर रहे हो आपको ठीक से लॉजिक्स नहीं पता है कि वो क्यों किए जा रहे हैं मैंने आपसे ये पूछा व्हाट इज योर पॉपुलेशन पहले आप ये बताइए पॉपुलेशन क्या है पॉपुलेशन मोर देन टेन लैक आई थिंक ये क्या चीज है योर यू हैव रिटन योर सेकंड इन रो एरिया स्लैश पॉपुलेशन वन इज चंडीगढ़ वन इज लुधियाना इज इट ओके ओके इज योर स्टडी ओनली लिमिटेड टू चंडीगढ़ एंड लुधियाना नो सर इट्स आल्सो कनेक्टेड नॉर्थ इंडिया द होल नॉर्थ इंडिया जयपुर मेरे को अब अंदर से एक अंदर से एक आवाज आ रही है कि मेरे ग्रुप में पांच लोग हैं अनूप अश्मित गिरीश राहुल प्रशंसा आपने रिपोर्ट में राहुल एंड प्रशंसा तो लिख दिया मेरा नाम नहीं लिखा आई वॉन्ट टू हैव ए क्वेश्चन ऑन इट कि क्यों नहीं लिखा जा रहा बाकी लोगों का नाम या तो आप किसी का नहीं लिखो या लिखो तो सभी का लिखो ग्रुप का नाम लिखते तो चल जाता नॉर्थ इंडिया लिखते तो चल जाता उसके साथ में स्टार डाल देते स्टार का नीचे लिख देते कि सम ऑफ द सिटीज सिलेक्टेड सिटीज वो चल जाता मैं फिर आपसे ये पूछ लेता विच आर द सिलेक्टेड सिटीज आप मुझे नाम बता देते चल जाता बट ऐसे नहीं चलेगा कि आपने चंडीगढ़ लोग ध्यान लिख दिया बाकी आपके पास कुछ है ही नहीं और ये भी कैसे शॉर्टलिस्ट किया आपने शॉर्टलिस्टिंग क्राइटेरिया के ऊपर क्वेश्चन उठ सकता है आपको 
और पॉपुलेशन तो कुछ है ही नहीं मे बी एरिया में हम समझ सकते हैं कि चंडीगढ़ लुधियाना हो सकता है यही स्टडी के सेंटर पॉइंट है फोकल पॉइंट इसी के आसपास सब डाटा कलेक्शन हो सर सारे मेंबर्स को सर ऑल द मेंबर्स यू हैव लाइक सजेस्टेड दैट सजेस्टेड दैट डिफरेंट सिटीज यू हैव गिवन सो ऑन दैट सिटीज वी आर कलेक्टिंग द डेटा इन फ्यूचर नो 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 ऐसा नहीं है यार ऐसा कैसे हो सकता है कि मैं आपको कोई सिटी स्पेसिफाई कर रहा हूँ हमने नॉर्थ इंडिया की बात की थी नॉर्थ इंडिया में आपको वो स्टेट्स डिफाइन करनी पड़ेंगी ओके मे बी आपके साथ अगर हमारे डिस्कशन नहीं हुई है तो बट स्टिल आपको ये आ, ऐसे इनकम्प्लीट स्टेट में अगर आप किसी प्रेजेंटेशन में जाएंगे तो मार पड़ेगी अभी इस पे मार पड़ने वाली है आपको कि आपकी सैम्पलिंग सही से नहीं हुई हुई सैंपल फ्रेम रेडी नहीं है आपको एरिया डिफाइन नहीं है उसमें कौन सी सिटीज में जाना है उसका क्या सिलेक्शन क्राइटेरिया ये क्लियर नहीं है आप ये मुझे एरिया एंड सिटीज ऑल आर डिफाइंड सर तो वो इस चीट में क्यों एक मिसमैच सी इन्फॉर्मेशन आ रही है मेरे पास सर ये एक्चुअली जो सिटीज जो सर दो ग्रुप मेंबर्स की तो सेम है सर मेरी और चंडीगढ़ ये लुधियाना है और एक ग्रुप मेंबर की सिटी नहीं है सर इसमें मेंशन बिकॉज सर उस टाइम राहुल सुनो सुनो आप चार लोग हो इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि आपने चार ही सिटीज पे काम करना है और बहुत मुश्किल हो जाएगा जब आपने ये डिफाइन किया ये तो अच्छी चीज है कि आपने एरिया डिफाइन कर दिया बट मुश्किल क्या होने वाली है मुश्किल ये होने वाली है कि आप चंडीगढ़ और लुधियाना के रेस्पॉन्डेंट्स कैसे ट्रैक करोगे कि जो ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म पे आपको फीडबैक दे रहे हैं दे आर फ्रॉम चंडीगढ़ एंड लुधियाना ओनली मैं चंडीगढ़ से हूँ बट हो सकता मैं फगवाड़ा बैठा हूँ तो आप मेरे से कहाँ फीडबैक ले रहे हैं चंडीगढ़ में तो ले नहीं रहे मैं बैठा हूँ फगवाड़ा में आप मेरे से लोकेशन पूछोगे मैं फगवाड़ा कोट करूंगा ये बहुत बड़ा क्राइसिस हो जाएगा आपको बाद में कि आपको ये पता नहीं होगा कौन किधर से आ रहा है सेग्रीगेशन नहीं डिफाइन कर पाओगे कोई चेक नहीं है आपके पास गूगल फॉर्म है वो किसी भी सिटी से भरा जा सकता है अगर आपका चंडीगढ़ चेक लग जाए कि भाई चंडीगढ़ का रिस्पॉन्डेंट ही भरेगा और वो और कोई खोल ही नहीं पाएगा जैसे मैं ई पे चेक लगा के आपको कुछ डाटा शेयर करता हूँ तो जिनको अलाउड है उसको ओपन करना उन्हीं का खुलेगा बाकी लोगों के ईमेल पे खुलेगा ही नहीं इट्स ओके आई कैन राइट लाइक दिस बट आपके पास ऐसा कुछ तो स्ट्रेटजी है ही नहीं है कि आप ये एरिया स्पेसिफिक करोगे आप करो एरिया स्पेसिफिक नो डाउट बट उसमें मेरे को ये भी बताओ ना कि कैसे आप आइडेंटिफाई करोगे और लिमिटेड रिस्पॉन्सेज जो आप ले रहे हो टू हंड्रेड वो उन्हीं एरिया से होंगे ये तो आप तीर चला दोगे अंधेरे में कोई गुजरात जाएगा कोई तमिलनाडु तेलंगाना आंध्रा पांद्रा पूरी इंडिया से डाटा कलेक्शन हो जाएगा आप कैसे उसको चेक रखने वाले हो अपनी स्टडी के अंदर इज माय क्वेश्चन क्योंकि लिमिटेशन नहीं रखोगे और पूरे इंडिया को लोगे तो फिर जनरलाइज करना रिजल्ट बहुत मुश्किल होगा आप अपने कहीं पे भी स्टडी में नॉर्थ इंडिया निकोट कर पाओगे नॉर्थ में ये रिस्ट्रिक्टेड रहेगा डेटा कलेक्शन इसके लिए आपने क्या सोचा है एनी वन ऑफ यू सर हम नॉर्थ की सिटीज को टारगेट करेंगे ना हम और ओवरऑल इंडिया पे हम नहीं फोकस करेंगे सर नॉर्थ की सिटीज में टारगेट करेंगे आपने अपने फ्रेंड को ये कहना है ना कि स्नोबॉल सैम्पलिंग में Uh, वो दूसरा ग्रुप स्नोबॉल कर रहा था आप स्नोबॉल नहीं कर रहे बताइए आवाज नहीं आ रही सर 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 वो तो सर क्वेश्चन नियर में सर सिटीज लिखा होगा ना सर मतलब आ, कौन सी सिटीज से बिलोंग करते हैं वेरी लॉजिकल अश्वेत ये सही जवाब दे दिया लेकिन मेरा मानना ये है कि आप जब क्वेश्चन फ्लोट करोगे अपने फ्रेंड्स को तो आपके फ्रेंड्स इन लिमिटेड सिटीज में से होने की प्रोबेबिलिटी बहुत कम है तो आप अपने फ्रेंड को बोलोगे भर दे वो भी भर देगा आप फिर उसी को बोलोगे की सर ये जी हमने छह सिटीज से कर लिया ये धोखेबाजी है यार हम इसको साइंटिफिकली और स्टैटिस्टिकली कैसे प्रूव नहीं कर पाएंगे कि सर ये लोग आए अगर आपके पास जैसे कोई आधार कार्ड या कोई एड्रेस के अंदर पिन कोड आ जाए जैसे हम ट्रैक कर लें तो तो समझ लगती है साइंटिफिकली हम मेजर कर पा रहे हैं कि ये इन एरियाज के हैं अब ये बहुत बड़ा चैलेंज है आपके साथ नहीं सभी ग्रुप्स के साथ कि आपको अपनी एरिया ऑफ स्टडी को कैसे डिफाइन करना है ऑनलाइन स्टडीज में ये बड़े भी चैलेंज होने वाले हैं आप एरिया ले रहे हो क्या ले रहे हो अगर आप खुद सारे के सारे चारों लोग चंडीगढ़ से होते हैं और चंडीगढ़ के अंदर ही फ्रेंड सर्कल को ये फ्लोट करते और मेक श्योर sure करते हैं कि जो भी सर्वे फिल कर रहा है गूगल डॉक पे वो उसको आप कॉल बैक करके बाद में कंफर्म कर लें या उनसे सिटीज पूछ लें डेटा कलेक्शन होने दें जितना मर्जी होता है क्या प्रॉब्लम है लेकिन बाद में हम फिल्टर लगा के जो चंडीगढ़ का डेटा है या जो नॉर्थ इंडिया का डेटा है वो ले लें बाकी डेटा छोड़ दें ऐसा हो सकता है बट उसमें चक्कर क्या है कि उसमें फिर आपको बहुत भागना पड़ेगा डेटा का साइज अगर हजार भी हो गया उसमें से तीन निकलेंगे आपके शहर के तो हजार तक आप जाने के लिए रेडी है आप यहाँ पे तीन लिखा हुआ है वाई थ्री सर 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 मैंने नेट पे सर्च किया था था तो मिनिमम 250 सैंपल साइज होना चाहिए लिखा हुआ 
सर और 250 साइज में कहां पे कहां पे कहां पे आपने 250 देखा दिखाइए जरा थोड़ा सा शेयर कर सकते हैं सर नेट पे सर नेट पे वो कोई कहीं गिरीश ने तो कोई रिपोर्ट अपलोड नहीं की थी जिसमें 250 लिखा था मैं ऐसे यू सी मैं थोड़ा सा मजाक करने की कोशिश कर रहा हूं यस सर मजाक क्यों कर रहा हूं क्योंकि आप एक स्टेटमेंट दे रहे हैं बट आपके पास सोर्स नहीं आप कह रहे हैं नेट पे नेट पे कुछ भी हो सकता है ऑथेंटिकेटेड सोर्सेज हो सकते हैं वेग सोर्सेज भी हो सकते हैं मैं कुछ रिपोर्ट डाल देता हूं मेरे को भी नहीं लिखना आता बॉस मैं भी कुछ लिख दूं ओके सैंपल से शुड बी 10 20 30 100 200 250 कुछ भी लिखूं उसको ऑथेंटिकेट करने के लिए आपको यह देखना पड़ेगा क्या उस पेपर की कोई वैल्यू है मार्केट में कोई साइट कर रहा है उसको कोई रिकमेंडेशन है कि इसको पढ़ लो इसमें आपका मीनिंगफुल रिजल्ट दिया हुआ है आप सैंपल साइज अगर 250 लेके चल रहे हैं कौन से सॉफ्टवेयर में 250 वाला कंस्ट्रेंट उड़ जाता है मतलब आपको ज्यादा सैंपल नहीं चाहिए कम सैंपल से भी काम कर सकते हैं बट ये कम सैंपल से काम करना मतलब ये नहीं कि 50 सैंपल करके फिर उस पे जाके आप सॉफ्टवेयर रन कर लो ना 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 डाटा तो आपको कलेक्ट करना पड़ेगा एक सैंपलिंग टेक्निक में आपका सैंपल साइज कैलकुलेट है एक कांसेप्ट होता है स्टैटिस्टिक्स के अंदर आई होप आप सबने पढ़ा होगा उसका फार्मूला भी है पॉपुलेशन को लेके मीन को लेके तो कुछ चीजों को लेके आप अपना उसको क्लियरली डिफाइन कर दो मैं वही पूछना चाह रहा हूं ये 300 कहां से आया नंबर 300 कहां से आया सर सर सो वही सर मुझे सर वो नेट पे 250 मिनिमम देखा था सर तो मुझे लगा 250 में एक्यूरेट सॉल्व नहीं आएगा इसलिए 300 लिख दिया था सर हम सारी बात नहीं कर सकते अश्मित सॉरी मैं बीच में रोक रहा हूं मैं थोड़ी जल्दीबाजी में बात कर रहा हूं किसी को भी पूरा टाइम नहीं दे रहा हूं बट मेरा इंटेंट ये है कि मैं समझ रहा हूं आप क्या कहना चाह रहे हो बट ये सही तरीका नहीं है आप एक 250 वाला जो आपका नेट पे ढूंढा था जरा डालो व्हाट्सएप वाले ग्रुप में वहां पे मैं चेक करता हूं वो क्या चीज है बट ये 250 का ऐसा कोई रैशनल नहीं है बट क्या है रैशनल वो आपसे पूछ रहा था वो आपसे नहीं मिला व्हाट इज परपस ऑफ सैंपलिंग गिरीश थोड़ा सा बताएं जरा परपस ऑफ सैंपलिंग क्या होता है यस सर परपसिव सैंपलिंग क्या होता है बताओ सर परपसली सैंपलिंग सर परपसिव सैंपलिंग टेक्निक क्या होती है सर ये वो होती है जो हम एक एक किसी की एबिलिटी या फिर स्पेसिफिक थीम कांसेप्ट या फिर किसी भी फिनोमेना के ऊपर करता है सर जिसमें एक बंदा रोल करता है सर सबको मतलब काम देता है सर एक बंदा सबको काम देता है मुझे भी दिलवा दो यार काम घर पे बैठ के अगर कुछ किया जा सकता है तो मैंने तो नहीं ऐसा सुना यार कि एक आदमी सबको काम देता है सर मतलब सर इस सर इसमें वो जजमेंटल इसको जजमेंटल सैंपलिंग भी बोलते हैं सर और अब ये जज भी आ गए इसमें जो जज कर रहे हैं कि क्या ठीक है क्या गलत है है ना सुप्रीम कोर्ट हाई कोर्ट इन सब में जज रहते हैं जो डिसाइड करते हैं यस सर जजमेंटल वर्ड वही सुप्रीम कोर्ट के जज से है नहीं सर मतलब सर जो एक एक बंदा होता है वो सबको देखता है सर व्हाट इज राइट एंड व्हाट इज रॉन्ग सर जज तो यही करता है ना मैं भी तो यही कह रहा हूं सुप्रीम कोर्ट हाई कोर्ट इनके जज क्या करते हैं वो देखते हैं और फाइनली वही डिसाइड करते हैं क्या ठीक है क्या गलत है वही तुम बोलने की कोशिश कर रहे हो बट नो सर कर देते हो बीच में यानी कि तुमने खुद ध्यान से सोचा नहीं है इस चीज को लेकर अच्छा ये सेकेंडरी सोर्स क्या है आपके डेटा में गिरीश थोड़ा सा बताओ सेकेंडरी सोर्स क्या है यस सर सेकेंडरी सोर्स नहीं कुछ आइडिया व्हाट इज सेकेंडरी सोर्स इन योर रिपोर्ट नहीं सर रिसर्च सर रिसर्च पेपर है सर अच्छा रिसर्च पेपर ये कहां से आया मैसेज और रिव्यू रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर ये सुनो 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 तुम्हें मैं 10 में से 10 नंबर दूंगा अगर तुम मुझे उसका नाम बता दो जिसने तुम्हें टेक्स्ट किया है सर मेरे मैं सर व्हाट्सएप चला ही नहीं रहा सर नहीं चला रे नहीं सर बस नहीं लेना चाह रहे ठीक है फिर तुम्हारी जो प्रेजेंटेशन है उसके बेस पे तो मुझे थोड़ी अच्छी वो फीलिंग नहीं आ रही है तो तुम्हें 10 चाहिए तो देख लो अभी भी किसी को 10 नहीं मिला शुरू से अभी तक एक है जो बड़ा सर मैं चला सर कोई है ही नहीं सर चलिए कोई नहीं ठीक है मैं मान रहा हूं मान रहा हूं ठीक है प्रश्न था यस सर व्हिच सॉफ्टवेयर वाज गिवन टू यू आपके नाम पे क्या सॉफ्टवेयर स्मार्ट पीएलएस स्मार्ट पीएलएस लास्ट टाइम जब मैंने आपसे डेटा कलेक्शन किया था फीडबैक एक्सेल फॉर्म में जो आप लोगों ने ऑनलाइन पंच किया था उसमें आपने YouTube लिखा हुआ था नो सर आपने स्मार्ट पीएलएस तो कोड नहीं किया उसके अंदर वो एक्सेल फाइल है मेरे पास सर YouTube YouTube no sir, I was asking you. I I I remember one thing. Uh, I was not able to log in in Smart PLS. 
मैंने आपको पूछा था सर कि इसमें स्मार्ट पीएस में लॉगिन नहीं हो रहा है अगर नहीं लिखा होगा था तो फिर रिडक्शन करूंगा मैं इसलिए मैं पूछा मुझे वो याद नहीं आ रहा कौन से कौन से इसमें लिखा था सर बाकी है ना जिस दिन अपना वो हुआ था ना सर जिस दिन मीटिंग हुआ था यस सर जिस दिन मीटिंग हुआ था वो ग्रुप में जो हमारा कोऑर्डिनेटर राहुल है उसने नेम के अकॉर्डिंग प्रशंसा मीटिंग छोड़ दो मैं अभी ये क्वेश्चन जो पूछ रहा हूँ आपसे ये आपके उस एक्सेल फाइल के फीडबैक के बेसिस पे भेज रहा हूँ आपको क्वेश्चन ये की उस दिन आपने अपने सर्वे के अंदर क्या लिखा था क्योंकि मुझे अभी ऐसा फील हो रहा है इंट्यूशन हो रही है कि उसमें कुछ लॉजिकल था फीडबैक आपकी तरफ से तभी मैं आज आपसे उसके ऊपर बात कर रहा हूँ कि आपको पीएलएस स्मार्ट पीएलएस मिला आपने अभी मेरे को आंसर कर दिया इज गुड बट वो एक्सेल के अंदर आपने अगर स्मार्ट पीएलएस दिया तो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है बट आई मैं एक बार चेक करूंगा उसको अगर वहां पर स्मार्ट पीएलएस की जगह कुछ और निकला तो फिर दिन इट विल बी ए पेनल्टी मैं इसलिए आपसे पूछना चाह रहा हूँ कि आपने स्मार्ट पीएलएस रखा है तो नो प्रॉब्लम उसमें मेरे को so my uh, my uh, software is smart pls only and uh, we have also declared the same in the group as well uh, by our coordinator चलिए नो इशू वो ऑनलाइन सर्वे का लिंक है मेरे पास हां दैट इज सर हां spss भी कह सकते हैं हां अगर हां spss अकेले लिखा था या स्मार्ट पीएलएस भी था साथ में बिकॉज़ ओनली इफ यू राइट spss इज नॉट अ वे आउट spss वाज क्लियरली मेंशनड कि ये कोई एक स्टूडेंट को नहीं मिल रहा है spss इज इन जनरल सभी को रहेगा बट सॉफ्टवेयर is allocated to everyone separately ek ek software ka naam diya hua tha to so my my whole smart pls to so smart pls kyun use karte hain in what situation so smart ha smart pls apan isliye use karte ki jo jo data hota hai usko uh, like the uh, like i was not able to log in the smart pls as i told you earlier but i i, I have seen videos on youtube in that uh, uh, the smart pls is used for the data quantify like data uh, डेटा को मोर वो बनाने के लिए सर क्या कहते हैं क्वालिटेटिव या क्वालिटेटिव या लगता है स्मार्ट स्मार्ट पीएलएस क्वालिटेटिव लेट मी टेल यू दिस थिंग कि डेटा पे पीएलएस नहीं है स्मार्ट पीएलएस जो है वो लाइक स्केल टाइप डेटा पे रहता है क्वालिटेटिव मींस आप क्वालिटेटिव से क्या समझते हैं मैं आंसर दे रहा हूँ आपको यहाँ पे एब्रप्टली वो एक इंटरव्यू है जैसे आप मेरे से बात कर रहे हैं मैं आपको एक इंटरव्यू पे रिस्पांस दे रहा हूँ आपने मैनेजर से बात की वो एक क्वालिटेटिव स्टडी है वो क्वांटिटेटिव नहीं है उसमें उनको ओपन एंडेड क्वेश्चन दिए गए उन्होंने कुछ भी जवाब दिया हमने उसको बाद में बैठ के मैप किया उसका एनालिसिस किया और उसका एक कंक्लूजन ड्रॉ किया इसमें कहीं पर भी स्मार्ट पीएलएस नहीं लगा आपने अपने फीडबैक को आमने सामने रखा कंपेयर किया और उसको वर्ड्स में एक्सप्रेस कर दिया इसमें कहीं लगा क्या स्मार्ट पीएलएस या आपने कोई वीडियो देखी होगी उसमें उन्होंने किसी इंटरव्यू वाले फीडबैक पे स्मार्ट पीएलएस लगा दिया क्या नहीं नो सर एन वीवो करके सॉफ्टवेयर रहता है या आप ये कह लो ये जो ऑरेंज सॉफ्टवेयर पे कुछ लोग काम कर रहे हैं उस पर यह चलता है आ, या फिर आप ये कह लो ट्विटर और ये सोशल नेटवर्किंग साइट्स के ऊपर जो ट्वीट्स आती है उन ट्वीट्स को हम एनालिसिस करते हैं इवन आर स्टूडियो से कर लेते हैं तो इनमें तो कहीं पर भी मैं स्मार्ट पीएलएस का नाम नहीं देख रहा हूँ तो इसमें क्वालिटेटिव एनालिसिस कैसे हो सकती है इसमें आपका जो डेटा रहता है वो क्वांटिफाइड होना चाहिए बिना क्वांटिफिकेशन के आप इस पर कोई एनालिसिस रन नहीं कर सकते क्वांटिफिकेशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बैलेंस शीट कोई भी बैलेंस शीट वाली चीज हो तो भी हो जाएगा यानी इनकम प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस कुछ भी ले आओ उसको भी डाल सकते हैं प्लस लाइक स्केल भी डाल सकते हैं चलिए एक्सप्लेनेशन का मेरा आज दे नहीं है तो मैं इस पर ज्यादा बात नहीं करूंगा बस मैं आई एम जस्ट चेकिंग राहुल आपके पास कौन सा सॉफ्टवेयर था सर एमोस था एमोस और पीएलएस स्मार्ट पीएलएस में कुछ एक डिफरेंस बता सकते हो कि हम एमोस को क्यों यूज करना प्रेफर करते हैं ओवर स्मार्ट पीएलएस स्मार्ट पीएलएस की लिमिटेशन प्रशंसा बता देगी आप एमोस के एज बता दो सर ये एमोस है जो इसका सर नेक्स्ट वर्जन है सर ये मॉड्यूल ही है मतलब एडिड मॉड्यूल है सर एसपीएसएस का सर मैंने कुछ देखे थे सर थोड़े बहुत वीडियो इसके ऊपर जो आपने बोला था उस टाइम काफी टाइम हो गया सर तो कोई एक एक्सपर्ट का नाम बताओगे जिनके वीडियोस आप देख रहे हो सर आपने ही बताया था कुछ जेम्स था इतना मेरे को पूरा नाम तो नहीं पता बट आप देख रहे हो जेम्स 
और सर एक मैं सतीश कुमार की भी देखी थी सर मैं चार फोटो दिखाऊं तो जेम्स को ढूंढ लोगे सर मैं अगर आपको चार फोटो दिखाऊं चार फॉरेनर की फोटो दिखाऊं जेम्स को पहचान लोगे क्योंकि तो यूट्यूब वीडियोस पे जहां पे भी वो वीडियोस हैं तो उनकी फोटो लगी हुई है अभी ढूंढ लो जल्दी से मोबाइल फोन अल्टरनेट है वो तो यानी आपको देखना जरूरी है गेम्स के गैस के न उसका नाम अब बोल रहे हो मैं अनूप सर को जानता हूँ कोई बोलता हाँ कोई वो पूछता मोहनती सर को जानते हो नहीं नहीं मैं मोहनती सर को नहीं जानता हूँ मैं अनूप सर को जानता हूँ इट्स लिटल बिट वेक अब जिसको भी देखते हैं थोड़ा ध्यान से देखें नहीं तो क्या होता है ये एक डिसरेस्पेक्ट है यूज तो कर रहे हैं उनका सामान लेकिन जब हम उनको रेफर करना चाहेंगे कोई पूछ ले उनके बारे में तो हमें पूरा कुछ क्लियर ही नहीं अच्छा वो इज नेक्स्ट गिरीश कौन से सॉफ्टवेयर पे काम कर रहे हो सर और ये किसी ने मैसेज डाला कि नथिंग इज ऑडिबल टू मी लेट मी सी 122 ग्रुप नंबर में प्रशंसा ही सिंह प्रशंसा कुछ सुनाई नहीं दे रहा आपको बाकी रेस्ट ऑफ यू गिरीश ये सब yes, आप लोगों को क्लियर है मेरी आवाज क्लियर आ रही है yes, sir, आ रही है हाँ बस ठीक है चलिए गिरीश आप ऑरेंज पे काम कर रहे हो यस yes, सर कुछ वीडियोस देखी उसकी क्या नहीं सर नहीं देख पाया था सर हाँ मेरे को आपकी सिचुएशन बिल्कुल ठीक से पता है तो मैं आपसे ज्यादा एक्सपेक्ट नहीं कर रहा हूँ बट मैं आपके ग्रुप कोऑर्डिनेटर लोगों से पूछना चाह रहा हूँ कि जब आप पेयर रेटिंग करते हैं तो आप ये पेयर रेटिंग कैसे करते हैं यार अंडरस्टैंडिंग के ऊपर करें ना पेयर रेटिंग पेयर रेटिंग का मतलब ये नहीं है कि मैंने मार्क्स देने तो मैंने पेयर रेटिंग के हिसाब से उठा लेने मार्क्स आप जो कर रहे हैं पेयर रेटिंग वो आपके हाथ में एक पावर गिवन है आप उसको थोड़ा सा जुडिशियस वे में करो नो 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 लेट मी एक राहुल जरा एक उसको मैसेज डाल दो प्रशंसा को वो ग्रुप में लिख रही है शायद कि एम आई ऑडिबल सो शी इज नॉट ऑडिबल उसको रिकनेक्ट करने के लिए बोलो मैसेज के तो ऑरेंज में भी देखा नहीं है चलिए ठीक है आप जब टाइम लगे यू शुड गो थ्रू इट दिस इज लाइक फेलियर मुझे ऐसा लग रहा है गिरीश तबियत सारी ठीक है आपकी कि नहीं अभी कमरे में सर मतलब अभी सर घर पर ही हूँ सर उसके बाद सर फिर पेपर स्टार्ट हो गए थे सर ओके वही है टाइम में टाइम में नहीं मिल पाया सर बिल्कुल भी सर पर असाइनमेंट वगैरह सारे कंप्लीट करे सर आई अंडरस्टैंड मैं मैं समझ सकता हूं यार क्योंकि मेरी अपनी स्टेट ऐसी है कि मैं भी पीएचडी कर रहा हूं एलपीयू से ही कर रहा हूं और यहां पे पूरा लोड रहता है टीचर को भी 9 से 9 से 9 ही चलती है गेम 9 से क्यों 8 बजे सुबह 4 5 रात को कभी भी डाल दो मैसेज मुझे उसको रिस्पोंड करना है बट पॉइंट ये है कि हमें ना फिर भी कहीं ना कहीं कुछ ना कुछ करके मैनेज करके अपने चैलेंजेस को मेकअप करना पड़ेगा जैसे कुछ रातों को मुझे कभी कभी सोने में डर लगता है कि मैं सो गया तो मेरा काम नहीं होगा तो वैसे अगर आपको स्कोप मिले अभी तो पेपर खत्म हो जाएंगे एक आध दिन में उसके बाद थोड़ा पांच सात दिन का जो गैप पीरियड मिलेगा उसको यूटिलाइज कर लीजिए उसको yes. थोड़ा काम कर लीजिए प्रशंसा जैसे है उसको भी ओवरलोड रहता है डिपार्टमेंट की तरफ से उनके तो उसको भी थोड़ा ग्रुप में लीजिए क्योंकि आपके ग्रुप एफर्ट्स तभी सही से निकल के आएंगे जब आप सबसे कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट करा रहे हैं और राहुल मैं अश्मित को अप्रिशिएट करूंगा क्योंकि अश्मित की अप्रोच मुझे काफी क्लियर लगी टीचू को लेकर उसके जो रिस्पॉन्स रहे हैं वो काफी हद तक मेरी एक्सपेक्टेशन के आसपास रहे हैं राहुल तो मिस आउट कर रहे हो कुछ चीजों को जो नहीं होना चाहिए था अब वो क्यों हो रहा है आई डोंट नो बट आप अश्मित के साथ अगर सही में मेरे को लगता है आपके ग्रुप में इस टाइम आप और अश्मित ही हैं जो दो लोग काम कर रहे हैं प्रशंसा अपने ऑफ कैंपस की वजह से फंसी हुई है गिरीश अपने मेडिकल कंडीशन से फंसा हुआ है तो आप जो दोनों काम कर रहे हो ना काइंडली कोऑर्डिनेट करो आपस में अंडरस्टैंडिंग बनाओ कि आप कर क्या रहे हो किस लिए कर रहे हो क्वेश्चन पूछो राहुल अश्मित को क्वेश्चन करे कि वो ये क्या कर रहा है और अश्मित राहुल को क्वेश्चन पूछे कि भाई तू भी क्या कर रहा है सो दैट अगर विद इन ग्रुप आपकी क्रिटिसिज्म होगी तो आपका जो भी काम रहेगा ना वो एक मोर फोकस्ड वे में सही टारगेट की तरफ जाएगा नो no डाउट मैं तो पीछे बैठा ही हूँ सब चीजों को ओवरकम करने के लिए बट मेरा पॉइंट ये कि आज का ये इवोल्यूशन नहीं होता तो मुझे पता ही नहीं था कि राहुल और अश्मित के ओपिनियंस में तो इतना बड़ा डिसग्रीमेंट है इन द सेंस की लाइक जो रिस्पॉन्स आपने दिया मैंने वो मैप किए बड़े ठीक से कि कौन सही डायरेक्शन में जा रहा है और किसको पता ही नहीं है मेथडोलॉजी क्या है कैसे करने का सारा कुछ एक बहुत बड़ा गैप है इवन दो आपने रिपोर्ट बना के जमा दी टूरिज्म कम कर लिया दैट इज ऑल गुड बट उसका फायदा क्या है जब तक हम उसको सही तरीके से समझ नहीं पा रहे हैं और डिफेंड नहीं कर पा रहे हैं और एक यूनिफॉर्मिटी वाला आंसर नहीं दे पा रहे हैं इट इज ओनली इंडिकेटिंग कि आप लोगों की म्यूचुअल इंट्रैक्शन कम है आप थोड़ा उनको बढ़ाएं अपने टीम मेंबर्स को यू शुड हैव योर टीम मेंबर्स इन्वॉल्व इन वेरियस डिस्कशन आई एम श्योर आप लोग बहुत कम डिस्कस करते हैं यानी मैंने जो इससे पहले ग्रुप देखा इब्राहिम एंड टीम इब्राहिम तेंजन रोहित एंड हर्ष दे आर वर्किंग वेरी वेल मेरे चार ग्
और विच इज ग्रुप नंबर टू तो ये उस पहली दूसरी रैंकिंग में आ जाएंगे एंड दे हैव अगेन सम लाइक लाइक डिविजन इन टू देर ग्रुप दो एक साइड में है दो दूसरी साइड में बट दे आर समहाउ फाइनली वेन दे आर कमिंग टू देर एंड रिपोर्ट दे आर गिविंग इट ग्रेट और जो मेरा देखो मैं बता रहा हूँ पहले वाली उनकी रेटिंग के अंदर इब्राहिम वॉज गिवन समवेयर एट सेवन पूरे ग्रुप में सबसे नीचे था लेकिन उसमें इब्राहिम ने जो रिस्पांस दिया ही इज कन्विंस मी कि अगर सेवन पे आके यू कैन गिव मी सच अ वंडरफुल आंसर इन टर्म्स ऑफ योर सॉफ्टवेयर यूसेज एंड लर्निंग सो वॉट इट इंडिकेट की एंटायर टीम इज वर्किंग वेरी हार्ड मेरा पर्पज यही रहता है कि जो नीचे है ना नीचे वाले को पूछो ठीक से उसको पढ़ के उससे बात करके यू विल गेट अ क्लियर आइडिया कि ऊपर वाला क्या कर रहा है तो आई डोंट सी एनी वन इन योर ग्रुप गेटिंग और डिजर्विंग अ टेन एक्सेप्ट अश्मित अश्मित को ही दस डिजर्व करना चाहिए यू सी ये कहीं पे भी इमोशनल नहीं है दिस इज नथिंग रिलेटेड टू इमोशन दिस इज ऑल अबाउट वर्किंग हार्ड राहुल इज ऑल्सो वर्किंग वेरी हार्ड बिल्डिंग अ कोर्डिनेशन बिटवीन ऑल थ्री तो राहुल ऑल्सो कैन बी अ टेन बट हम बाकी टीम मेंबर्स को Because of difference in opinion, cannot be rated as nine and seven. आपको कोई एक सोच के कोई thought process से uniformity होने पे ही बात रखनी चाहिए. It is very difficult. I know it is very difficult in given constraints that you have. घर से बैठना है, online classes लगाना है, CAs का pressure है. आपके पास time ही नहीं है. मैं आपसे meeting करने के लिए पहले तीन दिन चुप रहा. मैं कोई बात नहीं कर रहा था. Because हर किसी की suggestions आ रही थी. Sir, इस दिन ले लो, उस दिन ले लो. ये कर लो, वो कर लो. एक घंटा कर लो, पंद्रह मिनट कर लो. Sir, इतना क्या? उतना क्या? ये सब आपकी तरफ से आ रही थी मेरा सर दर्द हो रहा था तो आई सेड मैं कोई बात ही नहीं करूंगा लेट मी हैव अ थॉट फिर थर्टी फर्स्ट सब ने कहा कि फ्री है तो आई पुट इट ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट मजे की बात है थर्टी फर्स्ट को भी लोगों के कॉन्ट्रोडिक्शन आने शुरू हो गए कि सर ये है वो है हम आएंगे हम नहीं आएंगे ये प्रॉब्लम है वो प्रॉब्लम है uh, मैंने मैं, देखो आई एम आई एम नॉट एन एनिमी टू यू मैं तो आपके लिए एक फेसिलिटेटर का, का काम कर रहा हूँ एंड वेन आई एम टेकिंग योर प्रेजेंटेशन ये मेरे को आप किसी भी टीचर को पूछो दूसरे उन्होंने पंद्रह बीस मिनट में वाइंड अप कर देनी है प्रेजेंटेशन मैं आपका एक एक घंटा प्रेजेंटेशन ले रहा हूँ बैठ के यहाँ पे इज जस्ट टू गिव यू क्लैरिटी मेरा कहीं पे मैं ये जस्टिफाई नहीं कर रहा हूँ कि मैं जरूरत से ज्यादा कर रहा हूँ बट उसी तरीके से वेन आई आस्क यू टू डू समथिंग आप लोगों को भी ये समझना चाहिए कि आई डू हैव माई कंस्ट्रेंट मेरे पास बहुत कंस्ट्रेंट्स है हाउ विल आई मैनेज माई कंस्ट्रेंट्स है मेरे अभी क्वेश्चन बैंक का अगर पेंडिंग है तो उसको कैसे करेंगे जब मैं आपका वाइवा ले रहा हूँ इतना एलेबरेट तो ये नहीं हो सकता कि आप भी जाने तो मैं भी जाने देता हूँ नो वाई वा मैं मार्क्स दे देता हूँ आप खुश हो जाओ चलो काम खत्म दैट इज नॉट द वे हाउ थिंग्स हैव टू बी एपन इट हैज टू बी थ्रू दिस हार्डशिप रात को मुझे उठना पड़ेगा मेरे काम के लिए उठना पड़ेगा बट प्रेजेंटेशन में मुझे पूरा टाइम देना पड़ेगा बच्चे को कोई आप कुछ कहना चाहते हो जब तक आपकी बात पूरी नहीं हुई आई कैनॉट वाइंड अप द सेशन चलो राहुल अभी ज्यादा लेक्चरिंग नहीं करते हैं बस मुझे एक चीज बता दो रिव्यू ऑफ रिव्यू पेपर पे क्या स्टेटस है आपका हैव यू सबमिटेड योर एब्सट्रैक्ट यस सर वी हैव सबमिटेड कौन सी कॉन्फ्रेंस में सबमिट किया आपने कहीं पे कोई कॉन्फ्रेंस हो रही हो कोई सेमिनार हो रहा हो जहां पे ये सबमिट कर रहे हैं पब्लिकेशन के लिए कहां पे कर रहे हैं ये पब्लिकेशन पब्लिकेशन का तो सर नहीं पता आपको But... ये पता है कि बिना पब्लिकेशन आपको ये वाइवा में नहीं बैठने देंगे एंड नोटिस वाज देयर फॉर मी एंड फॉर यू इन योर यूएमएस सर वो उस पे प्लानिंग चल रही है सर वो हम जैसे ही कुछ उस पे होता है तो वी विल टेल यू अबाउट इट सर देखो मेरे को प्लानिंग नहीं चाहिए मुझे एग्जैक्ट डेट डेडलाइन और डेट एक टाइमलाइन चाहिए कि कब क्या होने वाला है टाइटल हो गया सर हमारा एब्स्ट्रैक्ट रेडी है हमारा आ, ये फर्स्ट ड्राफ्ट हम इस तारीख को आपको दे देंगे हम फाइनल ड्राफ्ट रेक्टिफिकेशन जो भी है मैं बताऊंगा उसको करके अगले दस दिन में दे देंगे मेरे पास कोई टाइम नहीं आई आप तो सोचते रहोगे बहुत दूर तक यू सी योर टीम मेंबर्स गिरीश की तो हालत खराब है उसको अगर थोड़ा रेस्ट बोला जाए तो वो रेस्ट कर लेगा अश्मित और आप दोनों भाग रहे हो प्रशंसा को भी अभी कुछ हद तक चीजें क्लियर नहीं है कि कैसे वो कंट्रीब्यूट कर सकती है उनको हमें बोलना पड़ा कि आपको 28 दिन के बाद वापस आके प्रेजेंटेशन देने की जरूरत पड़ रही है क्यों देने की जरूरत पड़ रही है जब आप ओजेटी पे जा रहे हैं तो आपके टीम मेंबर्स के डायनेमिक्स आपको क्लियर नहीं है आपको अपना काम ही नहीं पता क्या करना है तो उससे हर किसी को थोड़ी लीवरेज मिल जाती है कि थोड़ा रिलैक्स कर ले बाकी सब तो सी ये सब पक्के करने हैं बाकी सब्जेक्ट सारे तैयार करने कैप्टन को छोड़ दो आराम से इज नॉट द वे हाउ यू डू थिंग्स मुझे आप ये जैसे ही आप अभी ये प्रेजेंटेशन कंप्लीट कर रहे हैं आई डोंट नो वेदर यू विल बी बैक और नॉट आप अपना मेरे को फाइनल करके दीजिए रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर जो भी आपने अभी कर लिया है पचास आर्टिकल्स लेट से तो पचास आर्टिकल से रिव्यू पेपर नहीं छपेगा उसके लिए थोड़ा ज्यादा नंबर चाहिए दैट्स वाई मैंने कभी भी आपको ये नहीं बोला पचास करना मैं हमेशा ये कहता हूँ एक दिन का
मेरे से कुछ पूछना है पूछो एंड देन डू स्टार्ट राइटिंग ऑन इट आपको टास्क एलोकेशन होना चाहिए कि भाई गिरीश इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ रिव्यू पेपर आपने बनानी है अब देख लो कैसे बनानी है इफ यू नीड अ पेपर आई कैन शेयर यू बट गिरीश को पता तो रहे उसने क्या करना है उसको पता ही नहीं है इसीलिए वो मजे में मजे में मजे में तो कोई भी नहीं है बट थोड़ा सा लोड रिलैक्सेशन है उसको इस वजह से बिकॉज वाई आई एम टेलिंग इट टू यू राहुल इज बिकॉज कहीं ना कहीं अभी तक आप ही लीड कर रहे हो और आप में एक लीडर की सारे पोटेंशियल है बहुत अच्छे से बैलेंस कर रहे हो कहीं मैंने आपकी कोई फ्रस्ट्रेशन नहीं देखी कहीं मैंने कहीं आपसे कोई कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन नहीं देखी सारे ऑर्डर फॉलो हो जाते हैं बहुत बढ़िया है मेरे को सही लग रहा है सिस्टम बट आपके जो टीम मेंबर्स अभी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट नहीं कर पा रहे हैं उनको अगर आप एक टास्क दे दोगे और एक टाइम दोगे टाइम मतलब मेरी वाली टाइम उनको नहीं देना उनको दो दिन तीन दिन चार दिन पहले की देना सो दैट वो जब कर दे तो आप भी एक बार उसको ओवरलुक करो कि क्या किया और फिर फाइनली मेरे पास आए फिर मैं उसको रिव्यू करके बताऊं कि ये चेंजेस करने तो वो भी एक टाइमली वे में जिसने जो किया उसमें मॉडिफिकेशन वही करके वापस रिसबमिट करेगा रिव्यू पेपर हमें सबमिट करना हमें लिटर नॉर्मल रिसर्च पेपर नहीं सबमिट कर पाएंगे क्योंकि हमारे पास डेटा कलेक्शन नहीं है तो इस टाइम पे हम क्या कर सकते हैं हम एक रिव्यू पेपर दे सकते हैं क्योंकि आपने फर्स्ट राउंड में जो मैनेजर्स का इंटरव्यू लिया ना वो कुछ नहीं था वो बस एक रिव्यू था कि उन लोगों की सोच क्या चार पांच मैनेजर्स की सोच मर्च करके आपने एक रिव्यू शीट बना के मेरे को देनी थी जो मुझे पता नहीं कितने लोगों ने दिए नहीं दिए क्योंकि मैं भी उसको नहीं मेजर कर पाया तो वो एक रिव्यू की समरी थी सिमिलरली अब आपने लेट से आप अभी कह रहे हो पचास कर लिए तो पचास पेपर का एक रिव्यू पेपर बनाए जैसे जैसे आप सेमेस्टर में आगे जाएंगे और पेपर एडअप होते जाएंगे उनके पचास साठ पेपर आप बाद में एड कर लेना क्योंकि ऐसे अगर आप नहीं करेंगे तो कहां पहुंचेंगे फर्स्ट ग्रुप जो है हर्षा रोहित तेनजिन मोहम्मद उनके बाकी सब फीडबैक सही है प्रेजेंटेशन सही है बट हमारे कोर्स में ये कंस्टेंट है कि वी हैव टू गो फॉर अ पेपर पब्लिकेशन मैं आपको कुछ शेयर करता हूँ ग्रुप्स के अंदर आप मुझे क्या शेयर करते हैं सर उस दिन हमारा पेपर है अरे मैं कहीं नहीं कह रहा आप कुछ करो मैं ये बता रहा हूँ कि ये इवेंट हो रहे हैं अगर आप कर सकते हो तो जरूर करो क्योंकि ये आपको कुछ आइडिया दे देंगे बट वहां से जब मुझे आता है सर हमारे पेपर है हमारी सी हमारा एग्जाम है तो मैं कहता हूँ यार इनको ये शेयर करना खतरनाक है जैसे ही करता हूँ तो कुछ कॉन्ट्राडिक्टरी आ जाता है तो इज नॉट गुड तो मैं आपको मतलब अभी आ, मैं आपसे ये क्वेश्चन पूछ रहा था कि कहाँ पब्लिकेशन करवा रहे हो मुझे यूजीसी की भी पब्लिकेशन चलेगी बट वो एक्नोलेज होना चाहिए यूजीसी की लिस्ट में जर्नल्स की लिस्ट में होना चाहिए कि ये जर्नल है आप आप जब जर्नल पब्लिकेशन एजेंसी ढूंढोगे तो उनकी कॉस्टिंग भी देखोगे कि कितने चार्ज करते हैं वो लोग किस टाइप का पेपर का राइटिंग स्टाइल होता है उनका उनके पुराने पेपर देखोगे दूसरे जो छपे हुए हैं उसी तरीके से आपको पेपर को रीमोल्ड करना पड़ेगा एजेंसी से बात करनी पड़ेगी उनको ईमेल शूट करना पड़ेगा ये बहुत लेंथी प्रोसेस है मेरे से चार बार उस पेपर को रिव्यू करवाना पड़ेगा उसमें मतलब देखो अभी आपके जो नॉन परफॉर्मिंग प्लेयर्स हैं टीआरपी रेटिंग के चक्कर में आप सबको नंबर दे देते हो बट उस केस में आप अपने नॉन परफॉर्मिंग प्लेयर्स को बाहर रखें रिसर्च पेपर से क्योंकि देर इज नो वे समन हु इज नॉट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग कैन बी पुट इन टू दीज रिसर्च पेपर्स या तो वो सारे कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट करें या तो वो ना करें क्योंकि उनको अगर डिपार्टमेंट किसी काम से एंगेज कर रहा है तो उसका मतलब देखो मैं अपनी बात रख रहा हूं अगर मैं आपकी तरह स्टूडेंट हूं और मैं रिव्यू कर रहा हूं मैंने सौ पेपर रिव्यू कर लिए हैं और मैं अब एक पेपर बना के अपने फैकल्टी मेंटर के साथ उसको पब्लिकेशन के लिए भेज रहा हूं तो दुनिया में कोई नहीं है जो मेरे पे प्रेशर डाल के मेरे से किसी का नाम ऐड करवा दे आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग यू दिस थिंग एंड मैं ये किसी के अगेंस्ट नहीं बोल रहा हूँ किसी के फेवर में नहीं बोल रहा हूँ मैं बस एक मैसेज दे रहा हूं कि आपको कहीं ना कहीं अपना काम खुद ही करना पड़ेगा कोई दूसरा आदमी आपका काम नहीं करेगा मैं जो आपसे बात कर रहा हूं मैंने अपने छुट्टी के ड्यूरेशन में दूसरे टीचर्स को एंगेज किया आपके लिए मुझे उनसे जीरो परसेंट एक्सपेक्टेशन थी कि वो आपको कुछ गाइड कर पाएंगे सही से जबकि बबली मैम ने आपको कुछ चीजें बताई कि ये चैप्टराइजेशन ऐसे होता है दूसरे सर ने एक ये बताया कि आपको बस पहले तीन चैप्टर करने हैं कुछ कुछ चीजें आपको पता चली नो डाउट बट मेरी एक्सपेक्टेशन उनसे जीरो थी क्योंकि मुझे पता था मैं आपसे क्या करवा रहा हूँ और मुझे पता था कि वो नहीं बता पाएंगे इसलिए मैं पूरे ड्यूरेशन में मेडिकल लीव के टाइम पे भी आप लोगों से रेगुलर चैट पे रहता था बताता था कि ये कर रहे हैं ऐसे करना है कल तक ये कर लो परसों ये डेडलाइन है ये बताने का पर्पज ये था कि जब मैं प्रेशर डालता था तो आप काम करते थे अरे जरा रुक के सोच लो कि अगर मैं प्रेशर नहीं डालता तो क्या आप ये कर पाते जितना आपने कर दिया आप अपने कंपेटिव ग्रुप से बात करो तो पता चलेगा वो तो कुछ भी नहीं कर रहे हैं फिर भी नंबर ले रहे हैं ये नंबर वंबर वाला काम मुझे समझ नहीं आता मुझे काम और उसके बेसिस पे इवेल्यूशन करना समझ आता इसलिए मैं आपको शुरू से ही परफॉर्मेंस
तो आप सब मिक्स होकर काम करें मिलकर काम करें ओके सो उससे चीजें थोड़ी क्लियर होगी और जो इवेलेटर होगा उसमें ऐसे नहीं लगेगा कि ये ग्रुप स्प्लिट है इसमें तीन चार ग्रुप काम कर रहे हैं एक ग्रुप नहीं है चार ग्रुप है तो दैट इज टू बी वर्क डॉन आपको मैंने पेपर के लिए पॉइंट आउट यहाँ पे इसलिए किया क्योंकि ये यूनिवर्सिटी का एक प्रोटोकॉल सेट है कि हमने पेपर छापना तो मैंने बस रिमाइंड करा दिया और बता दिया कि आपका जो स्टेट है आज की डेट में पेपर को लेके इज वेरी वेरी डेंजरस और आपका हो सकता है कि रिपोर्ट रेडी हो जाए लेकिन पेपर ना छप पाए तो इन दैट केस मुझे थोड़ा सा माफ करना क्योंकि मैं उसमें आपकी बहुत मदद नहीं कर पाऊंगा आपको मेरी कोई पेपर पब्लिकेशन में मदद चाहिए आप मेरे से पूछ बट मैं आपके पीछे पढ़ू उन सब चीजों के लिए बार बार तो वो कहीं ना कहीं ऐसा लगता है कि ये हिटलर हमारे पीछे पड़ गया यार कहां से आया तो मैं अपनी वैसी कोई छवि नहीं बनाना चाह रहा हूँ बट मैं ये चाह रहा हूँ कि जो चीजें प्रोटोकॉल में है आपको भी पता है मुझे भी पता है आपको उस पर कोई डाउट है आप मेरे से क्वेश्चन रेज करें मैं उस पर आपको फीडबैक दे सकता हूँ कि हम उसको कैसे वर्कआउट करें कि ये हमारा काम बन जाए बट आप अगर क्वेश्चन नहीं पूछोगे तो मैं भी जवाब नहीं दे मेरा एजम्शन ये कि आपको इम्प्लाइड है एम कर रहे हैं फाइनल ईयर में यू नो इट वेरी क्लियरली कि वॉट इज सपोज टू बी डन बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस मिस्टर अभी तक हमारा डेटा कलेक्शन नहीं हुआ तो आप पेपर भी लिख लोगे उसको पब्लिश भी कर लोगे वो पेपर पब्लिकेशन वाले भी दो दो तीन तीन महीने ले लेते हैं पेपर पब्लिश करने के लिए वो कैसे आएगा हमारा बिफोर फाइनल वाइवर तो दिस इज अ बिग चैलेंज विद एवरी ग्रुप नॉट विद यू विद एवरी ग्रुप तो उसको हमने थोड़ा वर्कआउट करना है उसके लिए थोड़ा स्ट्रेटेजी बिल्डअप कर लीजिए आज है ना ठीक है अब वी विल बी गोइंग इन थर्ड ग्रुप अभी देखो ये एक घंटा कैसे निकलता है पता नहीं चलता लास्ट प्रेजेंटेशन स्टार्टेड एट इलेवन It went up to 12:23. अभी हम लोग थर्ड ग्रुप में एंटर कर रहे हैं ऑलमोस्ट वन आवर विदाउट एनी लाइक मैं इसमें कोई काटने की प्रॉबेबिलिटी है कुछ कुछ काट सकते हैं पूरे प्रोसेस के अंदर आई फील बहुत कम है क्योंकि जो हम बात कर रहे हैं कुछ चीजें फर्स्ट टाइम यहाँ पे बात हो रही और कुछ चीजों पे क्वेश्चनिंग है जो मस्ट है सो so दैट मैं आपके क्लियर टी मार्केशन देखू सो दैट जब मैंने मार्किंग करनी है तो मुझे क्लियर रहना चाहिए किसको ज्यादा मिल रहा है किसको कम मिल रहा है क्यों कम मिल रहा है और क्यों ज्यादा मिल रहा है क्लैरिटी हैज टू बी देर चलिए नेक्स्ट ग्रुप इज ऋषभ एंड टीम वेरी गुड ऋषभ समवन फ्रॉम योर टीम कैन स्टार्ट दिस प्रेजेंटेशन आई बी पुटिंग माई सेल्फ ऑन टू म्यूट यू कैन टेक थ्री टू फोर मिनट्स और मे बी फाइव टू सेवन मिनट्स एज पर यूर कन्वीनियंस ट्राई इफ यू कैन वाइंड अप योर प्रेजेंटेशन फास्ट एंड अर्ली विल बी ग्रेट थैंक यू So our topic is a proposed model of e-service quality and trust for electronic banking. So introduction will be start. Uh, man, man will uh, start with. So introduction about this uh, e-banking. E-banking is an e-service provided by the bank through private and the personal channel over internet facility to their registered customer for the ease of transaction. Uh, for the uh, for the ease of transaction transfer of money bill payments and various other services that were all the available through the local branches only uh, earlier they were adopted by the various banks to provide ease of banking for 24/7 uh, hassle free services uh, now the special features about the internet banking is uh, first they Uh, facilitate to check the uh, check uh, check the bank balance at any time. Make a bill payment. Uh, make a bill pay payments through the all uh, all uh, internet. Second slide and protect the ease the ease access of bank accounts access of banking services through anywhere. and step or cancel automatic uh, recurring payment and standard orders uh, now the advantage of this uh, internet banking is they provide a 24/7 availability convenience of initiating the financial transaction proper track uh, of transaction we can uh, see from anywhere quick and uh, secure transactions and we can also uh, use non physical transaction like checking the bank balance all that Uh, next is type of next is type of fund transfer through uh, internet banking is uh, neft neft is uh, national electronic fund transfer maybe uh, is a payment of system which allow one to one uh, fund transfer 
using nfts inducible and corporate can transfer uh, funds electronic from any bank branch to any inducible or corporate with any account with with any other banks uh, branch in the country next is rtgs uh, rtgs perform is uh, real time gross settlement is a continuous uh, settlement of fund inducibly on a order by order basis uh, this payment system ensure that the receiver account gets created with the fund almost immediately and not uh, uh, not after a certain duration uh, uh, as is the case of with the other payment mode like nft also and uh, third one is imps uh, imps full form is immediate payment system uh, is is also an another payment method uh, that transfer a fund in a real time uh, this this is used to transfer fund instantly within a uh, bank across uh, india mobile internet and atms uh, which is not only safe but also economical both in financial and uh, non financial perspective second it's uh, about the literature review as the previous researchers have found on someone some of the previous researchers investigate how the e banking adoption internet banking is beneficial and efficient for both the banker and the customer also and it is a time reducing and efficient cheaper and best way and you can and reduce the time and reduce the reduce it will be very easy for both every gender person and the uh, as previous simarjit has said that the neft neft rtgs imps and atm will be the better payment system which will become and nowadays that uh, from 2015 and uh, there will be a it will be the more innovative that's like a mobile payment system as a upi payment system has come and it will be a tremendous change in the payment system so previous researcher khalil mohammad noor uh, michael pearson research amar rat i think we should uh, move amar rat uh, i think we should move yes, ahead with this literature review and uh, we should do the need uh, okay. firstly because uh, otherwise it will go long sir so simmer uh, take to the need for the uh, research harsha present this need for the research Sure, Rishabh. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. So the need of the research for this uh, topic we have chosen is uh, to examine the internet banking service quality and the trust of the customers in the internet banking. So the e-banking service quality determines the uh, identified the this research associated with the technology based. Uh, banking industry this even means that the customers are uh, you know provided to the bank service that can be complete a transaction quickly on a website and they can access it easily and uh, this study is to investigate the factors which is influencing the customers trust in the internet banking service and to prioritize them and uh, in this research we have provided a better understanding of factors which is affecting on customer loyalty trust and customer satisfaction And next slide, please. So this uh, research need uh, define finds that the type of motivation that provokes the individual to trust and to use the e-banking system in a very less income country. So this need of research is necessary for the bankers and to policy makers to know the relationship between the trust and the attraction between their influence on the actual commitment is different.
So now, so now you present now, the objective. We talk about the objectives of the study. <clears throat> so we are planning to do the like currently most of the banks are giving their customers e-banking services. So we are conducting this study to examine the usage pattern of the customers, how frequently they are using the e-banking services and what is the age group is the like which age group is more using this e-banking services. And the second objective is to the like find out the relation between our three variables like which we are discussed in the title like e-banking trust and e-service quality like which factor influence the more customer to the e-banking and the third objective is to the find customer perception towards the e-service quality and trust in cost in context of the e-banking services like what the customer feels about when they are using and we have also we are also going to do this achieve this objective by the questionnaires and different analysis models you see uh, in this one observation is it from my side that is like when you write these objectives your objectives should start with something like to study to measure the relationship likewise like it, it should not be in india most of the banks provide they are providing this or planning to provide this type of facility it means this is not actually expected in an objective so uh, like in first uh, paragraph that you have written in this i am not able to make it out what is your objective we are conducting the study to yeah, here you have the objective to examine the usage pattern so this is supposed to be there in objective one then objective two should be directly will go to investigate to investigate how you see this word how will not be brought in into your how why uh, these things should not be there in your objective so kindly reframe your objective looking into some of the research papers okay, that sir. Gone through and then make the needful changes i hope you have done the same mistake in your report writing also you have written objectives in the same fashion so need to have like a yes, set of information okay carry on with okay sir so we'll move ahead with the research modeling and uh, uh, basically the uh, research is modeled around uh, been proposed our synopsis report developing the ss uh, further will be tested the model so uh, we are giving the uh, model and we have developed this model on the spss amos and uh, uh, using this software uh, we have created this model and uh, the factors for this model we have extracted from the uh, literature review and the papers we have reviewed uh, these factors uh, those uh, those researchers have used these factors for the uh, purpose of uh, from, from the uh, like foreign land perspective uh, these are researches that had in the foreign countries and uh, we are framing these factors in terms of india like the research very few researches have been done in the indian con context so we'll be doing this uh, we'll be framing these factors in terms of the uh, indian context so we have developed this on amos and uh, further it will be tested uh, on the amos software uh, because we don't have the data yet collected uh, once we uh, will get the data then the uh, model will be uh, tested on the amos itself uh, so uh, simar can we move to next so we have you we have used uh, the variables like uh, various variables. Uh, the dependent variable is the e-banking adoption decision and the independent variables are the e-service quality and the customer trust. Uh, and the remaining variables are like these are the uh, these variables are uh, the variables which are affecting the e-service quality and the customer trust. Uh, and one another value variable that is uh, Sima, can we move to back uh, previous slide? Uh, so another extraneous variable uh, so extraneous variable is the one like uh, which is the external variable and which may uh, which may change the direction of the uh, research which may affect the uh, research uh, the uh, like the behavior of the uh, customer for this adoption of the banking e banking services uh, so we'll move ahead with this uh, simar next slide So uh, we'll go. Uh, we'll move ahead with the research methodology. In research methodology, uh, first topic is the area of study. Uh, we have not restricted our area of study, and because we are going to uh, 
float the this questionnaire on the internet and uh, so we have uh, we are going to uh, float it overall like uh, where we have this reach to the people uh, it is not yet decided uh, like but what will be going to the size of the uh, survey uh, like the surveyed people and uh, this will be uh, discussed with this sir and uh, everything is for now is tentatively and we are we have not restricted it because we are going to uh, like float it on the internet and, but basically we are going to target those customers which are uh, the technology uh, tech cv and they are using the technology they may be using the e-services or not uh, but the customer targeted customers are those uh, so uh, next is the research design so research design will be a, uh, this research will be a quantitative type of research and will be floating the questionnaire uh, which will be having the uh, qu qualitative type of uh, the questions uh, to which the respondents will be responding in the Likert scale. And uh, these, these data which, which, which we'll be getting from the customers will be uh, analyzed in the SPSS. SPSS is uh, for the uh, like uh, the statistical analysis and uh, uh, for the in that software spss will be analyzing these uh, these data what we are getting from this so uh, types of data we'll be having uh, is the uh, primary data and primary data will be collecting using the questionnaire from our uh, like the targeted customers of the banking services and um, these may be these will include may not maybe these will include those customers who have already uh, like uh, taken the e services e-banking services and uh, also those who have not uh, taken the e-banking services so that we will be having uh, like uh, the uh, information about both like what have molded what have molded their decision and what have molded their decision like not taking for the e-services -E and second data da secondary data will be using from the literature review and uh, this will not uh, like for the uh, analysis purpose but for just to, to guide our way through the uh, research so that we can be so that uh, because the researches have been done in the uh, context of the foreign countries uh, so this literature review will help us guide our research in terms of the indian context next is the research tools so primary data will be collected over the internet using the questionnaire and the second secondary data will be getting from the uh, literature review uh, from the uh, research papers we have reviewed yet the sample size sample size is yet not decided and uh, uh, this will be uh, after we'll discuss with our supervisor mr anup mohanty sir or so we will be uh, deciding this sample size we need to have for this and uh, it is tentatively uh, kept on hold uh, after the discussion after we'll be having our questionnaire we'll be deciding with this sir like uh, how uh, how much should be the sample size for this so uh, statistical tools so various statistical statistical tools will be using uh, in this uh, research paper because uh, what i have said to you that the spss is the uh, software we are using and spss provides us with all the types of the statistical tools like the mean median mode and uh, the like covariance and uh, everything uh, the like the standard deviation and all that so we'll be having uh, we'll be using all these statistical tools uh, using the spss software that's it sir thank you Uh, let me start from the last. Hmm? Just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Let me connect. Well, we share with someone and acting as. Uh, like you said, you will be using SPSS for yes, your because it has everything in it. Can you do confirmatory factor analysis in SPSS? No, sir, I have said the statistical analysis for the uh, SPSS. No, what uh, is CFA? CFA is something which is outside statistics? Uh, yes, sir, I think. No. Sir, because I have done uh, SPSS is another thing and SPSS AMOS is another thing, sir. Mm -hmm. no, these are the different software. You see, AMOS is a software which takes care for confirmatory factor analysis. You cannot run this analysis in your conventional what you say spss which is the previous version so uh, yes sir that's what i am saying sir you are saying that so CFA i outside the preview of statistics 
so so actually i am not very much confirmed about the uh, cfa like uh, how to uh, do it on spss amos uh, i have done the modeling and uh, i know how to test the uh, like the model for now as we'll move ahead the i'll take the uh, lectures of that sir can you do model testing model testing through spss spss amos sir amos na that is what i'm saying so if you can go into amos you can do the model testing you can do the cfa so uh, when you are using a mouse a mouse is again statistical driven software so it is a parametric uh, it think, all, uh. sir, i think sir you are misunderstanding sir these are the two different softwares first one is spss amos and the mm. second one is spss spss mm. just the spss is for the you know, like the in this uh, statistical uh, statistical analysis where we'll be having the mean median mode and all that and for the st spss i'm uh, will be doing the modeling and all that spss is used for descriptive analysis not statistical analysis what is descriptive where you study mean median mode basic type of uh, like statistics tool which will be required you can use it through spss but when you go to high end analysis spss may not be the uh, fit software because what i know efa can be done through spss but when it is something on cfa confirming those factors so it is not possible through spss so you have to go for a better version so when we are upgrading the software from spss to spss amos or it is into smart pls or any other software adenco so they are little bit like they are all are based on the same concept of statistics they all are doing statistical analysis only so statistical analysis if you see this is a very wide area is a very broad term is not having only your mean median mode into study okay so uh, yes sir next is like yes, uh, why have you not finalized your sample size because for me oh, i feel like all my groups should be like at least have some sort of understanding on sample size also so even if we have finalized that would have been the tentative size because uh, sir we have not ready with our questionnaires and uh, only uh, it will be like just uh, to have the put the numbers uh, uh, yes. before uh, yes. but we it is better to have a number rather than having nothing and putting up a name where spelling is an error you have put a spelling error in my name so okay sir i uh, so need to understand this thing like if you don't have a number is indicative that you have not started this planning or thought process where you can have something meaningful you see your entire presentation is just tentative thing you have yes, not sir. started anything yet because you are uh, supposed to do your questionnaire drafting also but you cannot get an exemption from uh, giving a tentative number of sample size because that is also another like chapter and if you start this discussion again you'll have good number of questions coming in the area is something which is a constraint uh, how you are going to pick up how many respondents from a different age groups that you are going to target so there are so many things which are going to be there a part of your sampling frame so they are all important you cannot skip and then go to the like completion of your project like you cannot give you this presentation this is your first presentation means at least your synopsis is clear to you means tentative when i'm saying tentative is like 90% things are fixed by 10% there is a pop of variation so when i'm using this word tentative is just to have a escape in case i'm stuck uh, evaluator will not be very strict on these parameters where you, you write tentative they know that you have some understanding on it and you are planning it so you should never write like i am we are in a discussion with our mentor and uh, we'll be finalizing it shortly this is just indicative that you have not completed your sampling thing so this is something i find is a problem so there are sample sample size calculators are there i have shared a concept of r soft r soft is like a software Uh, is a software is you can search it on uh, general google search you'll find it so it will ask you the po total population of your area which is supposed to be studied and then they'll ask you on confidence interval level of significance and then they'll give you your output like what will be the ideal sample size so that ideal sample size should be there in your presentation it cannot be blank and you because i am asking you this thing is like maybe you are not mentally ready for that type of sample so the moment you start searching on net you get some answers if it is 350 or 600 something a number which is going to be a challenging one you know this is your constraint this is your tough thing which you are going to achieve in this coming like in coming days you have to start working on your questionnaire you have to get your data collection as fast as possible even though you have five members but doing a sample uh, size of like a pro 650 or 700 will not be an easy job is going to be a huge job your people we should know what is their like requirement and challenges on hand so similarly they can plan accordingly for it so now uh, let me go to some of your other team members 
Aman, are you there? Yes, sir. Aman, why have you been rated very low in rating? I don't know, sir. Why don't you ask a question to your team members then? Have you asked them something? Last time also, I am sure that you got something very low. So you should have asked them very clearly where are you going wrong. So they, that uh, and I'm also very com and I'm also very uh, clear on it that your team members will pinpoint your weaknesses that these are the things which we are missing out in your case and that's why your rating is going low. So you need to have a clear communication with team members else this uh, pattern will not change at all. So now uh, can I ask you Aman what software was given to you for your study software? SPS sir. SPSS was not given to anyone in entire uh, all the groups. SPSS was something common for everyone. But I, apart from SPSS, one software, unique software was given to everyone in group. Sir, you see? Hmm? Amos. Amos. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, what was the software given to Simmer? Simmer, are you there? Yes, sir. What was the software given to you? Sir, SPSS MOS. Yeah, okay. Very good. Uh, Rishabh? Yes, sir. Which software was assigned to you individually to study? Uh, sir, actually, sir, we have not uh, like assigned these uh, software uh, individually, but we are going through all these, uh, what, whatever we can learn from them. No, no, so no, no. I have done. Sir, I have worked with the SPSS, and I have worked with the SPSS MOS, and it's, uh, other uh, softwares I'll be doing now. No, no, no. You are not getting my question. My question was like when we started this process of learning new softwares for every group, yes, I have given one software each to individuals. It is not like, and for that, what I did is like if you remember. On that day when we were discussing the software, I asked you to write the name of the person and the software which that fellow is supposed to undergo. Any through YouTube or through some FTPs and training. Because if you don't have a clarity that there are these many softwares like Adenco, Smart PLS, uh, you have a MOS and then Orange. These were the so four softwares which were shared to every group. Everyone yes, sir, you shared the number of the softwares, like the name of the softwares. Uh, but uh, I don't think so, sir, that uh, these were assigned individually to us. Means it was why it was shared to you is because of like you are four. I have given you four separate new softwares. This is not having SPSS in it. So you should have taken one software each. Now you see, you see the limitation in your group. They are all saying, Ki, sir, SPSS. When I said SPSS is not a part of software. Second, I said you should go through some other software. Means who will learn then Orange? Someone has to go through Orange, someone has to go through Smart PLS, someone has to go through Adenco. When you know these softwares, to some extent, you can do a comparative study. Like which software will be most fit for your data? Now, you tell me one thing. Uh, let me say ki if your questioner has uh, 50 statements in it, okay, it has 50 statements, and then for 50 statements, you need to have a sample of 6 to 10, means 500 sample size will be there for your study. Will, do you think you'll be able to do 500 sample size? Because a MOS will not give you any result if it is less than 500 sample size. Yes, sir. How will you manage that challenge? Sir, I think then we'll have to use the uh, PLS software. Yes, you have to shift it to some other software. How do you know that PLS SEM will be hel helping you in it? How do you know this? Sir, because last time uh, in a lecture you told us. You see, this is not right approach of doing things. I told you. So that is not the way. If someone is assigned that software in your group, that fellow must have worked something on basics. Now you see, even though you gave your presentation in a better way, you have your PPT ready and little bit organized as compared to others. You have a research model in it, but you have your limitations, your set of limitations separately. You see, other groups, they have told that they are working on software. Some of them, they know it very well. Like in first group, I, I have not asked anything to Ibrahim. Once he convinced me that he has gone through the content and he's learning it. And you see what will happen at the end of this semester, uh, people in your group, they will be somewhat familiar with new softwares altogether. So when you ask them to do some run some analysis, you see your same data can be used for data analysis in four different softwares. And the whatever results are best in terms of presentation, you can share it to us. Like Adenco is very good. 
because there you do have like whatever flow charts or ye ye, ye, ye kya bolo uh, these estimates values are given to you on your proposed research model they all are shown in colored format now you tell me uh, the only thing is like if you have not started yet on software learning when is the time to learn it there is no extra time purpose of sharing those team into group is to just start on it split the work you are coordinator for your group so your team members may not be like uh, understanding that these names are there in group or what was the purpose of these names into your group you have to split the work and learn on it it will be challenging will not be easy other groups are struggling badly so they come back to me and say he like sir from videos nothing is clear that's why i do keep on sharing certain uh, announcements into your group regarding these softwares some training is going on the experts will be coming in they'll be sharing you some data they'll be telling you how to insert the data everything will be there but it cost you something if there is an opportunity cost for that if you can learn it through youtube is great if you have a challenge you have some uh, announcements or notifications from my side so these are third party organized events now these events are happening and they are being circulated to research scholars maybe students will not get an access to it i'm getting just that information and putting into your group is with one reason that if you know that one of your team member is supposed to learn on smart pls and there is a workshop happening for which you are paying you see there is a, up, a upcoming workshop on smart pls but the price for this workshop is 2000 rupees let me tell you one thing what you are going to get in this 2000 days learning is one thing which i feel like is not a more important pers uh, perspective here but the software which you are going to get in this training they'll give you a key they they'll give you the original software and a key usage license for 2 months of time so you can use the actual software for 2 months of time after learning it that software otherwise if you go in for one year they'll charge you somewhere around uh, 26000 but you can get the same software for 2 months just to do your analysis at a price of 2000 so this 2000 is seems to be very costly in this fdp brochure but 2000 has something in it which is like very very valuable but i don't say you should do it i don't say you should get this thing but you have to somehow use these softwares to do your analysis so it is important that once you attend this training you learn it how to use the data how to encode the data how to get the interpretations done what are the important areas you all this thing is available on youtube uh, there is no problem all these thing is available on youtube but on youtube you can just see it this is one side in these sessions you may have certain question of yours if you have a doubt okay we will not be able to teach you your software in this this is just for direction and guidance ki what is required without which you cannot go to the next stage very important so when you are having four softwares and you have four trainings shared to you in your group at least i feel someone who has been given smart pls should attend this training this is 2000 rupee extra but you see the type of learning that you are going to get is all your individual learning nothing related to your group you may do your analysis and share it to into your group means this will be going into your cv also why you are learning is because of a need you cannot complete your analysis without this learning is a need you may learn it but you think imagine other people who are like not there uh, having this capstone as an assignment they they don't have any need so they are not going into the software learning so there is no problem for them but for you if i say when next level we are going to have your uh, discussion on your results after data collection then you see you will face challenge because there may be possible that you are running your test you are running your uh, analysis you are getting some output your output is not coming in favor what to do then next is now this is your problem you may learn the steps 1 2 3 4 but if you run step number 1 and you come up with some problem how to resolve it will not be clear in youtube videos this is only my sharing of experience i keep on learning certain softwares apart from my job working hours is because of the reason ki i have to prove it to my panel that i know these softwares i have to take out my own analysis i cannot give my hardly matlab generated data to others for analysis my data can be misused so i have to do this for my self learning so that i can do run my analysis and can present my result and can debate with the panel members when it comes to like any sort of error that, that they share or state on my report resulting report uh, results display they may object so i have to give them a response to them that is only possible when you know your software well so at least spss is something very basic known to everyone should know second thing is like you should have a understanding on uh, amos amos and then third is smart pls because what you cannot do in amos you have to go into smart pls 
ओके सर सर आई एश्योर यू बाई दिस दिवाली विल बी हैविंग दी बेसिक नॉलेज ऑफ ऑल दिस सर ठीक है uh wait uh, next is like i have to uh, go to someone else uh aman aman are you there aman scored the lowest yes sir harsha scored yes, the maximum so, okay 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 aman can you tell me the difference between bibliography and reference what is the difference in these two sir bibliography is for sir bibliography is where we have taken uh, our uh, re research and uh, reference is from uh, the paper we uh, review yes sir okay no. so how many total papers are there in your total report you must have a copy of the report which you have uploaded online how many papers have been reviewed by total group sir 58 Total fifty eight. How many members were there? Sir, in report, sir, in report, in report in fifty, and uh, sir, in other Excel sheet in fifty eight or uh, about that. Uh, Aman, can you help help me getting a reason why people are not able to do one paper per day review? Because if you do one paper per day, thirty days you do thirty paper, and five people means they can do one fifty. instead of 150 we have a number of 50 means almost one third 33% is your performance rate when you can achieve 100% so what are the major reasons you can share about your uh, feedback maybe others will be able to do this part later so i done 18 papers you have done 18 papers. out of yes out of 50 you yes. did 8 oh. 58 sir Yes, out of 58 you did 18 so you did more and you are getting low peer rating oh hey, boy need to understand how we are doing peer rating uh, okay no issues theek hai let me go to the second fellow uh timar timar yes sir timar uh can you tell me what is a review paper what i am asking from every group what is a review paper according to you like sir the related paper of our title paper related to the our title to get the re literature review from that that is a review paper have you seen any review paper in life sir i think it's the paper related to our literature this supposed to be in a yes or a no have you seen any review paper because i have asked you to give me a review paper to your group actually in whatsapp chat and this was for every group have you seen any review paper yes sir so you, your response which you are sharing it to me i don't consider this to be a correct answer have you been any uh, have you been a part of any conference in past have you attended any uh, conference any participated by putting up your papers sima no sir i haven't participated like for my paper like in our college Mm -hmm. i have seen the paper like presentation presentations of the phd is it in lpu or somewhere else sir it's lpu in lpu so you know what sort of rigor will be there when you are presenting a paper people will be asking you questions and all yes sir. so uh, do you feel your group will be able to give a presentation like the, like you have five members so it is not like you have to submit one paper you have to do two paper publication why because the maximum number of uh people which can be there on a uh, particular paper is 3 okay if i am also there a part of your team so you see five people plus me six so we cannot go with one paper we have to go for multiple papers yes so do you so think you will be able to huh? you will be able to make, to make. Uh, you have to make two papers uh, is there any discussion you have heard between you and your team member on how to write a research paper any strategy that you have developed any timeline being discussed like sir currently up uh, currently after the presentation we are going to make the questionnaire and discuss the questionnaire variables and what yes. sort of question we are going to put in the questionnaire you see and that is a different case that questionnaire development is a different philosophy <clears throat> right now we are into uh, how and uh, by what time we will be ready with the research papers 
i know koshna development data collection analysis and then you will have a research paper yes. but what i asked from all, every group member is like you should try to write a research paper now this research paper is not a research paper but a review paper uh, my voice message is also there in your group so it is very shocking that people have not yet have an understanding fair understanding on what is a review paper review paper is an opinion paper where others other researchers have given their feedback regarding the topic which you are working on so you are working on because they have done something initially maybe they gave you the definition they have given you the timeline how this concept has come over a period of time so maybe different researchers have different opinion some of them they are positive some of them they are negative so you regroup them into different groups with positive and negative mindset and then put up their thoughts into some uh, on a, into a paper and then get that thing published with your own some sort of own conclusion in the last so your contribution in a review paper is your conclusions in the last and what you have written in the top is like there is no introduction nothing you don't have any research methodology in it it is just what people have done in this area earlier you are just putting up into words and then you are sharing it like uh, let me share like once this meeting is over i'll be sharing you one uh, review paper for every group so that will be a sample case and what you need to do is like you need to work on this review paper before the start of your uh, next term before the start of your next term means after exam maybe few days of break two three five days break during those that break period you should be done with your review paper so that when you come back meanwhile i'll be also sharing some of the conferences upcoming conferences where you may have a publication okay so what you can do is like you can this uh, review paper can be submitted to these conferences because everything is virtual you can do it from home you need not to go to other parts of india very reasonable way of putting your paper somewhere and then getting them published so i'll be sharing you that thing but don't ask me a question don't share you see i don't feel someone asking me a question sir there is a price for that conference you see wherever you go in this is a departmental obligation that you have to fulfill publication of paper okay and the more you publish the content is like you are adding something for your personal uh, portfolio you are going to have more of research paper into your cv so this indicates that what you are doing is all genuine people are accepting that thing and you are given some certificates for it so you have to prove it that your idea your thought process what you are concluding in this presentation your ideas and all is actually recognized by industry experts also that is only possible when you write a review paper and it is getting published somewhere when you try it first time maybe they refuse to publish your thing then you have to figure out someone's second publication uh, body so it has to be a ongoing process cannot be done key like in one way you send and then next day they'll send you a written confirmation that yes you can have your publication done this is not so easy it is very tough and challenging job within department you can get a pass grade but getting a paper published is not easy you will not be getting any reference for it okay uh, simar can you tell me what is citation Simar, I am waiting for your response. Hello. Uh huh. You are audible. Just share me what is citation in a paper. Sir, citation is a source like reference source where mm -hmm. the like authors are using the paper, a published paper for their reference. Yeah. uh wait a minute uh okay rishab why have you not added your review of literature grade into your presentation so we have not uh, like added the grade but all we have added the like the reviews uh, of those papers so can but, you show uh, excel grade if you have any one of your team member who have it just share it into this so that i may ask you some questions on your review of literature all okay sir yes sir now you see try to understand most of you try to understand why i said 4 hour minimum will be required for this evaluation this process is a very tedious process is not going to be an easy one four groups all of you are there in this presentation no one leaving out and you want to listen to what is being asked to your other team members is an indication that market is very competitive you don't want to lose any opportunity to get some of the ideas which other group members are getting 
so you are staying back and you are trying to learn everything is he uh, just give me a minute let me increase the size of my screen i'm closing it up uh, okay 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 very good so serial number is there ap is there uh, can we go to the year of publication do we have no 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 it will must be into ap only or if you have it in ap reference you have year but do you have it separately what is this after citation what is this 2011 5 uh, year of publication okay okay, okay. now can, can you tell me how many papers are from 2019 which have been published in 2019 in your study review of literature very few papers are there give me the number 0 1 2 give me the number sir we have not counted sir i'm saying do it now no problem the point Simon is count. Uh, the point is like we are not knowing the actual reality that where do we stand in current date when it comes to some similar sort of studies in last few years you see some of the years are not mentioned in your excel grid this grid looks unorganized crossing from one column to another column you can use the wrap text option to bring everything into one cell sir not now you do 19 there is no paper are for half of the paper you don't have years also no sir i have seen in ap referencing also okay so you don't have any paper uh, 2018 this question is only for semer 2018 how many papers you see what is happening here is uh, you are missing out on certain parameters these are observations which should have been of yours instead of mine i'm asking you some of the papers of recent past if you are not able to give me good pin number of papers for 2019 18 17 16 15 14 is indicator that what you are doing is of uh, what do we say no uh, okay uh, early man age period means you are doing something which is already obsolete in order to prove the relevance of your topic you need to identify some papers some consultancy reports some of the news articles of recent past which support your point of view which support your title i hope you all will agree to this yes there are 16 people in class right now i don't know how many of them they missed out they left some of them they have left the session maybe i don't know they may have their own uh, like some sort of emergency so what i'm saying here is uh, no issues tenjin tenjin wrote something sir sorry sir so i understand I mean it means what i'm trying to say is uh, you see these things are not intentionally done i'm trying to express whatever i know best to everyone in group irrespective of any particular group so there is no discrimination from my side only thing is like i used to because i feel i know it i sometimes feel that you also know it so when i share something to you in your group and you don't have a clarity onto it it is your duty for sure to put me some questions onto it and what this is this how we can do it and if uh, my response to your query is you have to first do it check some videos is that i am trying to put you into hardship so that you go through the pain and then when you come back with that uh, entire exercise done you have an answer of yours you will not be asking me anything if you don't have an answer after watching that video you come back to me then i'll answer you what i intended to uh, uh, like uh, expect expected from that exercise why i put you into this uh, particular initiative is with some reason related to your capstone only Okay, I cannot expect you to do something which is not related to your area. So, any uh, similar? How many papers from 2018-17? Similar? Or Rishab? Anyone? Yes, sir. From 2017, we have some papers around. Some means how many number? Two, two. two paper from 2017. Okay, uh, 2018. No sir, from two thousand eighteen we don't. Two thousand sixteen. Yes sir, from sixteen also we have two or three papers. Okay, let me write three. Two thousand fifteen. From two thousand fifteen we have again three or four paper. Three and four paper. The more you go into past is more in number. Can you give me a uh, now? Rishab is required. Rishab, can you give me a reason why this thing is not happening in recent past? Sir, actually, sir, the recent papers are not very much cited, and uh, so far you have already told us that uh, the Wait, papers we are stop here. You see, never okay. Okay, sir. Sorry to mention your name, uh, but uh, sir, uh, these both the papers are cited. 
the more the relevant uh, relevance of those papers are but the recently published papers have uh, like two or three citations so we are not uh, so we were not supposed to use them because otherwise we oh, have to okay 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 sorry to interfere again sorry okay. again you see uh, let me share it to everyone so all all the group members from start till last you see what i'm asking here is is very correct you need to prove that this work is actually uh, relevant in current scenario so you have to justify it by showing some recent papers so uh, yes i agree to it ki i asked you to figure out some papers with good citation so paper which are good uh, cited papers so they are old in nature so you don't have any recent paper in publication which has good citation so for that reason now what i'm saying is like for 2019 18 17 16 should have at least two to three three paper each so that when teacher is asking the same question which i'm asking here so you can just prove it that this is like we have papers in recent past also but we have picked up most of the papers who are cited by researchers but you see when you write any research paper and you are sending it to publication agency they want something in recent past not way back what happened earlier because what was there in 19 uh, like 1990s is not applicable in 2020 so things have changed a lot so you need to have some some means uh, good number of recent papers also even though they don't have much in the name of citation i hope all of you got this thing what i'm trying to say theek hai okay sir so uh, uh, okay okay rishab did it very smartly gave the answer which i was expecting so uh harsha Harsha, are you there? Yes, sir. Harsha, can you uh, can you tell me the difference between a questionnaire and a schedule? A questionnaire is like uh, we make a few questions for the customer for the review. I mean, to know from the customers like what uh, and what the weightage, like how many people are taking what. Like we have a few options for them. So what mostly they have been using, they usually prefer it. to it and a schedule is like uh, we have some specific things and uh, where people uh, have no choice of more so there are some specific things that's what i feel the difference uh amarnath amarnath yes sir your same question given to you questionnaire versus a schedule questionnaire versus schedule okay uh meanwhile next group uh, monica and team be ready we next sir, uh, sir the question i refers to a technique of data which consist of a series which will be made on the either the uh, quantitative or qualitative data a while the schedule is a formalized setup of questions statements and the answer given by or the enumerators who ask for the respondent and note down to the answers yes 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 who is the enumerator actually amana who is an enumerator so enumerator sir uh, simply amana are you there yes sir sir uh, i need my answer fast Sir, a person who employed in the population uh, taking the census of the population. Which population? Which census? Sir, the. Uh, Are you reading it from somewhere? No, sir. Uh, I have uh, not much more about the enumerator, but I have a uh, little about information. What is the enum? Who is the enumerator? Amarnath, can you re 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 uh, call the definition that you gave on enumerator? You stated something. Can you repeat the same? an enumerator is a person who taking the population uh, from the census of a data or something <laughs> you see this is a technical definition you cannot uh, share this technical definition without knowing and you in next line you said you don't know about enumerator you see again requested everyone not to use anything apart from what we are doing here so if you know it's good if you don't know don't uh, use any uh, special uh, tricks Yeah, you see, a numerator is a person who is doing the data collection. So, if I am doing census, census means after every decade we go for data collection for population. We put it into records, and then that records will be submitted to.
uh, like respondent. So when I'm going to respondent, who is going to respondent in this particular case of capstone? Amarnath, Harsha, Aman, Simar, Reshav, Ashmit. They all are supposed to be the enumerator who is going to go to the uh, person who is giving a feedback. So you are my representative to them. When I say my means I'm your capstone mentor. I'm guiding you the process. I'm telling you to go for data collection when you're going to one of your friend and asking them for uh, this type of response. So you are called as an enumerator. So in which we are the enumerator. We are collecting data. You are the enumerator. Yes, so now, sir. Uh, so for example, a research scholar who is doing a research on something topic in which they made a questionnaire and they they, uh, they gave uh, made a questionnaire form and they share it with and going to the do door by door or something by you from the what from is the closed ended question? question sorry sir what is the closed ended question closed ended question hmm. in a questionnaire there are some questions which are called as uh, close close questions so what do you mean by a close question So, which which has been distinct or predefined response? Very good. Correct. So these are closed-ended questions, and then open-ended question means where you have a given and then a paragraph to respond. Like I have given a question, and without any uh, like options to pick from. So if there is a paragraph where he or she can write anything and everything. Maybe there is no word limit, so they are free to write anything and everything. This is open-ended. So what do you think? the question that you are going to make for your study should have more of open ended thing or more of closed ended thing so it will be a, a closed ended thing no okay okay prashant sir hey, sorry harsha yes sir harsha uh, the feedback that you have collected from uh, your manager have you done that survey from manager yes sir i have shared it with you sir the sure. question is yeah. recording just reminding you the exercise okay. i wanted to know okay. what okay. Was used in that particular interaction was it an open ended or was it a close ended close ended was a close ended no 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 sorry open ended because uh, we are only asking the questions and we were knowing the answers from it there were no options given to him he was open to tell whatever he had in knowledge about it it was open who in your group has given me the consolidated feedback of all the managers that we did that time who was authorized to give it any the summary of all four or five managers do you have any meeting in your team member with your team members where they decided okay uh, let's say simmer will do it or uh, let's say amarnath will do it so can you repeat once more my question is like when we did that uh, manager survey so there were like five members in your team that time only four were there so these yes, people who have collected their response from manager they have to do the summarization part means one common summary sheet has to be prepared having the feedback of all four which is to be used in your capstone project introductory introduction chapter that uh, initially we started with the delphi technique now what is the delphi technique rishab what is the delphi technique in statistics uh so delphi technique is a uh, so like uh, rating we we ask the uh, respondents to mark it in the rating so that is a uh, qual for the qualitative type of question you see you are saying rating and then you say qualitative so what i feel sir, likert scale sir that is on the likert scale we no. mark one two three like satisfied unsatisfied for that sir no 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 that is not delphi technique delphi is an interview method interview method when you went to manager you used a questionnaire which was open ended is an interview method so this is what is called as delphi technique okay so there you don't have any likert scale type of thing ha huh, maybe uh, you can develop sir, a likert scale hello uh, sir it is a delphi method which is uh, getting to the an expert or an in intellectual person yes, to give yes, an yes. open idea information yes yes, yes. yes. yes i know amarnath i know i am a little from the operations amarnath you Yes, when there is an exam going on, mm -hmm. and someone is asked a question like Rishabh is given experiment one, and you are given experiment seven. Can you answer for experiment one? No, sir. Ah, that is what is my intent. I know you know it. You have already expressed it. 
but this was actually a question to Risha because you all are supposed to be evaluated on certain questions related to your subject, which is capstone. You are doing so much. You are going for Delphi technique, but maybe you don't know because we have not used this word. So it is my duty to bring in these words, technical jargons into your discussion so that you know it, that you have also undergone this thing. Because nowhere in any of your presentation, which has been shared in group, has this word Delphi technique being used. Whereas the starting point of your topic finalization was from this thing only the second week exercise, which was managers visit. Many of the students were cribbing and they don't know. They said, why are we doing it? What is the need of it? No teacher is doing asking their student to have this thing of uh, this type of thing in COVID situation. So I have not given them any answer. I've just forced them to have this exercise done. Uh, intent was like maybe later on they'll come to know they'll realize it uh, else they must not have gone to anyone. I do remember I've, uh, I heard uh, audio of Sima interacting with the branch manager where he expressed certain things to branch manager telephonically manager was saying that he's not getting anything from this questionnaire which is sent to him from our side. Uh, so, so Sima was trying to explain it. Trying to explain it. Okay, so I have seen that you have gone through so much in terms of exercise during COVID. So when you are doing so much, should be there. Everything of this should be there in your report so that the evaluators should not be marking you negative because of uh, like maybe you don't know certain questions. You don't know the answer. Maybe what the evaluator is asking you, you're not able to understand the context and that's why you are not able to answer them correctly. But you have done so much. So if you just put up the things rightly into your report, it will be great. Okay, so Rishabh, by what uh, means, uh, by what time can I expect your review paper to be ready? Because you are the uh, by the starting of the next uh, next trimester, sir. Uh, I don't know the dates. Do you have any idea by what time we will be starting? No, up? sir, sir. No dates, sir. I don't have any idea. Tentative, some, some tentative dates. Okay, sir. By eleven, our exams will be completed, and uh, sir, by sixteen. Or 17th, sir, we'll be doing our, uh, we'll be completing our research paper. At least one research paper, sir. Okay, okay. So, Matla, by 15th of this month, we expect, uh, you see, let me tell you one thing, how you can write multiple research papers. So, you see your title has multiple components under it. So, in your group, if I can see, Amarnath is very active. He has some experience of writing a research paper. So, Rishabh, you can lead one set of team and Amarnath can be given another few team members. So you can write two uh, uh, a review paper on two major constructs of your of your title. So you will oh. get it, uh, just with your title. And then we can do the entire study. And in last, we'll write a main paper in which whosoever will be the top uh, two or three uh, performers, they'll be putting in rest will be relieved. Means they'll be, we cannot penalize them negative, but uh, Based on the contributions, we can pick the right people in and can publish the paper. So that at least for everyone, that publication while a constraint is over with first review paper being published. Okay, sir. Sir, but date I am not giving as 15. I am giving as 17, sir. Uh, but I feel like uh, I have been asked by department that uh, okay. maybe next uh, term will be starting somewhere on 12th or 13th i don't know how everything is happening 11th you have your paper 13th onwards we have to is very challenging but uh, okay let's see whenever semester will be starting we are taking 17 for your group okay, Just post the same date into your chat group in whatsapp okay, chat okay. okay so uh chamar is being asked uh Rishabh is being asked uh, arsha is being asked and uh amana done aman done Chalye. But I feel like the total number of papers that you have done is very less. You have to increase the number. Because review paper means it is all of, about reviewing research papers. Maybe you spend some days in, um, in during your break for doing review so that you can write your review paper easily. OK. And Chalye, take it. Now let's go to the last group that we have today. Uh, group led by Monica and team. Hemant was there for last almost one and a half hour. I was not aware. I thought he is busy somewhere. Yeah. Chali. Monica and team, kindly share your PPT, Hemant and team. Are they there? Uh, Girish, Aman Rawat, Hemant. Hemant is there. Hemant, kindly share your PPT and start the presentation. Monica is there. Is Monica available? 
Yes, sir. Okay. Monica, Heman, Sukhbir, it's now your turn. Group four is starting with the presentation. Do you need time? No, sir. You see, I'm habitual of seeing your photograph, these photographs that you have placed in your maybe on Gmail account. So you see, see uh, I am uh, very much familiar looking at you with the, these photographs on. So I initially today when I started this presentation, I said, I want you all to have your uh, video cameras on while you're giving your presentation or answering some of the questions. So you see, I forgot the entire thing in the entire exercise. This is so laborious exercise means you some of the time you miss out certain things, but this don't have any effect on to your evaluation. You can start with the presentation, Monica. Peer, are you there? Sukhbir, are you there? Monica, is Sukhbir there in presentation? Yes, sir. He's there, but he why is Monica, can you share the challenges which are which your team members are facing right now? I got a message uh, like Ahmed was saying ki, like he is coming from a phone and the phone has been bugged. I I am actually uh, I am not able to make out what is this. Actually, sir, Subir uh, was supposed to start his presentation. Actually, he dis disconnected. So he is coming. Hello. So we start. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. This is so. So our topic was is actually on uh, Monica. Could you just yeah. Is on behavioral intentions towards self-service technology. Okay, and our study is on the the, millenn the millennial age groups. So basically, we are targeting like our populations will be the ones that the. the generation y our age people so that we are going to target what is their intention what is their behavior intention towards self-service technology monica next slide please okay so first i'll give you a uh, overview the introduction for this so basically the technology self-service technology is a technology that uh, uh, it's like much more of uh, we don't have to like we don't need an intermediary in between Okay, it's much the services are much faster. Okay, and it ranges from uh, internet sites to AT machines, it airport terminals. If you if you have to find on the uh, daily usage, the the biggest example would be the AT machines that we use. Okay, that is one of the biggest example of the self service technology in human life. Next one, please. Okay, so our main intention was to like is to study the behavior intention of the millennials, right? So the first key points that we had to keep uh, in with us were the like what is the notice, the kind of security this uh, self-service technology uh, is having. Okay, the choice, the uh, like of like because it's not that just of one type. There are different types of uh, like system when you work on like different types of kiosk you will see. Okay, what is the level of degree of trust that we have? Because that when you're speaking on the trust, okay, trust is also a behavior intention that we have to will have to study. Because uh, we we see the kind of trust that we have upon uh, like uh, the software, uh, the machines. So what will that? Uh, how does that that trust plays a role in among the millennials? Okay, and the, so the repeating purchase. Thing okay, how how much do we recommend it to others will be there? 
okay all this patterns all this behavior intentions will be studied so then like uh, as i says as i said it will be among the millennial age groups so we'll be checking out like how much do they recommend and what are the positive remarks that they have next one please so i would give you a few benefits okay like uh, suppose if you have to speak on the benefits of the self service first of all it is cost efficiency like you don't have to it's not that expensive okay it is 24/7 available sometimes when uh, we find that uh, we have to like for an example atm or uh, i would suggest like i have used kiosk machines for recharging my mobile service like that sim cards basically so you don't have to have internet service with you you can go to a kiosk you can go directly to, uh, recharge your mobile over there as well okay uh, consistency with within the delivery of standardized uh, services okay uh, the best part is like another one i would suggest is that when you when it comes to um what to say providing the services right the standard services like the basic minimum standard services that each kiosk provides is actually satisfactory and it is 24/7 available and it is to the convenience of a customer because it's not very hard to use it is it it is self directory like it uh, explains you the next steps easily one by one so you, it's not even even for a new user who uses it should just know like uh, should just be able to read so that he can do the next step that is being shown on the screen or not uh so if i have to see like this is the these are the places where we can find most of them okay we will find uh, the at uh, airports that's where we're using it the most like now it is be more much more used hotel checkouts car rent machines are there okay then we can go for atms automated uh, like what we say other like when we check for informations on kiosks like even in if i have to find or tell about the kiosk that we have been using uh like a fully suppose like most of the first being from uh, lpu so in lp also we'll find an kiosk inside uh, the mall so that's where we can go for okay and uh, it's easy to use okay it helps us in giving general internet information so just yeah so i'll the need of this research was to that urge to study components that encourages the customers to endeavor one more use at self service self administration innovation suddenly okay like what could have been the dissatisfaction among like what could have been the need also of this the dissatisfaction among the customers like what is missing the missing areas to find out the missing areas and all the second one is has he what drives and hinders recent they are when is like as i was was speaking i was studying it on the millennials so among the college grads that's where the millennials are the most right now okay uh, like what it hinders or what drives us crazy towards this uh, technology what is the use of this technology that's what the need is this for research we need to study the behavior intentions like are we going to adapt it soon or not next slide please yeah uh, this one is much more like uh, from the worldwide data okay share my screen is stuck sorry you see one important uh, like uh, important uh, observation which i had just few seconds back is like uh, i recommend strongly that all the groups that are there uh, they should be able to uh, display or showcase some of the consultancy reports and findings on to their particular title okay like in the case uh, in this current uh, case they have shown you uh, a report on global self service uh, uh, technology competitiveness index or something like they are showing you a report which is uh, like uh, this is for the year 2020 you see this is the latest report that they have somehow arranged for their topic so this is how you can put up your title and the first i feel like your presentation 
if it has somewhere this sort of report being discussed in first few slides during the introduction part is giving a picture to your evaluators that they people are in the right direction they are working with the right data set they have come to a conclusion that what is supposed to be like actually required in the market and then accordingly their study is going on so need relevance can be easily established by putting up some of these consultancy reports which i missed out in most of my previous presentation even though i have informed you all same voice message went to everyone in terms of like how to justify your need of uh, study is like you kindly bring in some of the consultancy reports on uh, from pwc kpmg uh, capgemini so there are so many consultancy firms across the globe who are working on these topics uh, 24 into 7 if you can get two three reports of recent past maybe 2019 or 20 then means your topic relevance cannot be debated at all so you see this agency is doing it regularly year by year 2014 to 2020 last 6 years 6 to 7 years data is given to you and moreover they have given you the forecast also so they have discussed on white atm white label atm they have discussed on uh, brown label atm so there are different types of atm also so this can also be a part of your introduction like what you see when you read these reports you will get ideas how to craft your introduction so many of the previous researchers in previous presentations uh, had like not, not very impressive intro, uh, introduction and all so you need to have something like this uh, carry on with the presentation to be Sukhbir, you can carry on with the presentation. Sorry, sorry, sir. Actually, sorry. So, sir, the research objectives were also like the three. Uh, the first one would have been to understand the usage self pat pattern of the self sex. this technology with potential and existing customers, because we had to re um like understand what. what was their usage like how how addictive not addictive like what easily they were uh, ready to use it and all what was the pattern of usage like is it among only one particular age group or is it going to be among uh, like the whole millennials like how easy they are using it how fast they are using it that was the first part to identify our list or list the various and dissidents related to behavior intentions in context to assist okay and over here the main was was like as you mentioned this as i mentioned the starting regarding our behavior parts the trust that we have okay uh, or else and uh, the trust that we had so i did not get your question sorry so we you carry on with your presentation this is meant for your rest of your team members my okay. question was like you used a report in your uh, need of uh, need or relevance section okay. so i'm just okay so like i'll be continuing up like the level of trust that they had okay and what was the how many times do they visit again what is it repeating purchasing uh, technology so that all this various uh, behavior intentions are also need to be identified and listed down and given a brief study on this Okay, to identify the key factors responsible for defining behavior intentions, especially in the by the way, okay, like as per we suggested, like a topic, like the whole our whole research report, like our is on based on uh, behavior intentions among the uh, millennials. So millennials is the age group which is the new one, which is ad adaptive. So we have to identify the key factors responsible. Like what is that one or two factors that pull uh, the millennials towards this SSTs. that it becomes uh, quite easily available for them to use can we go to the next slide please okay so the review of literature that we had okay where we had done around uh, a total of tw uh, 25 which were there in the report that we submitted and um, but the overall that we had done were around 40 okay and speaking upon if i have to give an overview okay the research methodology part 
so the research methodology would have been like the first one was that so since like most of this our uh, study will be based upon the millennials so we are going to target like our population target would have been this is not actually is not going to be limited but it's go uh, we are sticking it to a uh, college grads as of now because that's where we are finding that millennial age groups are much more right now secondly it would be have been through the service uh, okay to carrying out uh, research papers which are going to be part of the science uh, project as well okay and that's what we said like our primary data would have been the questionnaires for the through google forms or maybe through interviews from the like uh, the bank managers that we had who like what was their adoption what was their view on setting up this ssts for the millennial groups the secondary data would have been the uh, books and journals the review of literatures that we have done they act as a secondary data for us okay like mostly that uh, we have done we did, we found out how many journals have, how many of journals of or review paper we could find on this we found a maximum and we tried to review one each of them one by one so and that's where we could extract information from okay so of course like when you checking for the research uh, for the ssts we will actually mainly find them like in all these places like we'll find them at the elect uh, what to say pay at this terminals we'll find them at the at machines okay check out uh, uh, sorry robotized vehicle rental machines okay eight uh, like internet shopping the mo normally when we go to a mall or something that's the basic places like the where we can find a kiosk or a ssd machine so the main uh, coming up to the limitation was that due to the ongoing pandemic okay our limitation is actually uh, that we are going to stick up with a small group of uh, population that was the first one secondly we could not cover up the large range of facilities all over india because as uh, or even or i would not say india or all over punjab because it differs the time constraint is also problem like we do not have much time to cover up the whole thing so that we can't go on keeping it up for a later on that it's not a one year project or something okay the customers located in other provinces may have different attitude so attitude and a behavior of different people like it's um, being from a place that we are where different cultures and all so understanding that sst for them is also going to be different so to know their attitude also to understand the culture to understand their behavior towards this thing is also going to be limitation so sorry exactly sir that's what we then so you are done with your presentation huh? so yes, can we go to the page where you have your objectives written i would like to see your objectives can you make it full screen let us go to all three of you one by one is hemant available for a like verbal discussion like if i ask him to answer some of my questions yes sir okay, okay. so hemant can you tell me how you are going to achieve your objective one so uh, the objective one is to understand the usage pattern of self service technology by potential and existing customer so as our study is uh, limited to uh, millennials that are uh, between 24 to 36 years of age so uh, the sst uh, is a major part of this millennial life uh, and from them after the survey a pattern can be extracted uh, from the use and uh, their ease of using it so uh, we can do it that way but uh, can you tell me the title can you read out your title as it is it has been put up into your presentation sir what is your title of your study sir the title of our study is a study of behavioral intentions towards self service technology among millennials so but there is no mention about your banking system and all don't you think this is missing out you are missing out something like it can be any self service technology because yes. you have given a long list of uh, places where this ssd is being used yes sir so there is don't you think that there is a gap in your title means it has to be something like a bank 
word or uh, banking customer something has to be brought in or in your uh, introduction you must have defined it that this sst is in context to banking somewhere it has to be very clear have you made this thing clear in your report that you have uploaded on ums no sir don't you think this is vague then incomplete it can be airport it can be like uh, you see here you have given all the various variants which can be possible so you need to limit your study to a particular area you cannot keep it open wide open so that anything and everything can be asked to you and most of our discussions what we do is like we are always doing it in line to banking so automated tele banking or atm so most uh, sir around uh, 6, 70% of our uh, review of literature are related to atms only ha huh, that is what i am saying what you are doing is on banking but yes. in your title nothing is clear in terms of banking so you have to define it in your introduction that sst when you are giving a definition for it you have to disclose in it ki this sst is in context to banking services okay sir so then you, it is clear and if someone says ki in your title you don't have this word banking you can justify the thing and then then can carry on okay okay now uh, come back to your objective yes to understand the usage pattern of self service technologies by potential and existing customers so existing customers and potential customers do you are you going to have some questions on to this like uh, you see what you are going to do what i feel you will be making a questionnaire uh, yes, online sir. copy of it through google form and then you will be shooting it to your classmates group mates members friends and all yes sir and then you expect them to respond to your survey yes sir so how do you differentiate like who is using and who is not using because someone who is using it is called as existing customer someone who is not using it but has a potential to use it is called as a potential customer so will there be any question on to this parameter in your question so yes uh, we can add upon some questions uh, like uh, uh, which self service technologies are uh, you inclined upon to right now and are not using it so that uh, that way we can uh, you know take away the potential customer for the sst do you have any list of uh, functions which are possible through these sts like withdrawal of money a deposit of check updation of passbook uh, exchange of uh, currency updation of kyc updation of phone number the generation of pin code money transfer payment of utility bill do you have any list like this no sir not actually uh, it is not a cons consolidated report on only on atm no 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 all these things which i am sharing all these functions which i am sharing right now somewhere around yes, seven to eight points have been shared by me verbally yes, all are related to an atm yes sir So if they are related to an ATM, you are doing it in banking and ATM too. So th this should be there in your report from your side, sir. These are the probable usage possibilities for a SSP in banking. So we'll be asking questions on usage on these seven eight parameters. Yes, sir. People will be saying yes, they are using or no, they are not using. So you'll come to a conclusion. Okay, usage is done or not. But what about pattern? Pattern means you have to see in last one year. maybe in last 6 months maybe in last 3 months maybe in last how one many month ah uh, how many free what is the yes, frequency sir. what is the frequency yes sir that will give you some idea on your usage so the previous groups especially i don't know whether rahul is there or not rahul prashansa i asked them this question and they gave me an answer that it is through review of literature you will get an answer to this question so that that was wrong ashmit gave the right answer by saying that you have to interact with the customers you have to get their feedback then you can draw this thing this is based on primary data not on secondary data yes sir okay so next is like uh, uh yeah uh, who is the, monica can you tell me how you are going to do the second objective objective number 2 so second objective can be achieved through uh, adding yes, uh, questions to a questionnaire uh, related to their usage uh, whether they are parent monica wait 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 increase the make it full size make it full size that so that we can have a view of it what is written in objective 2 yes sir yes sir ah now it's clear now you see
Monica, you can share. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, these antecedents, uh, this antecedents uh, would be their parents if their parents are comfortable uh, with them using the SSDs. Like uh, if we are uh, making payment or receiving payment through online mode, whether they allow you or not, what are the, their viewpoint regarding this SSDs? How can you say this, that parents are antecedents for uh, usage behavior? Can you show me any paper where parents have been kept as a major uh, factor behind the usage pattern of uh, youngsters like you, you or your batchmates, they are using ATM. Do you think your parents have anything to do in your behavior when you are trying to use an ATM phone or ATM uh, machine or you are trying to do some sort of banking transaction through mobile? So do you think your parents have any influence on your decision making? Yes, sir. Basically, if we are uh, using can their ATM... Through, can you prove it through some review of literature? Maybe you have your own perception. So I don't go by your or my opinion onto it. We need some sort of review support. Do you have any review which says that behavior... No, sir, not related to, uh, to this antecedents. We have no... Uh, we have, don't have any review uh, literature regarding this. Hey, Monica, don't say this. You may don't... may be possible that you don't know what is antecedents. Antecedents is nothing but they are the like factors which have led to the actual current behavior, whatever you have. Like maybe you're using an ATM or you don't use it. Some of the youngsters, they don't use it. Why are they having this style of behavior? Some are positive, some because are negative. Because of privacy issues. Because or of fraudulent activities that, uh, that already have been uh, that faced. Is, with. That is one factor. Any risk, risk perception may vary. Yes. So that will be one antecedent. Similarly, there are many other antecedents. Like you need to understand how technology ready are they? Can they use this technological platform without any external support? Then you do have like uh, you need to see adaptation, change, ready to accept the change. So if I'm changing the technology, I'm changing the interface of UMS, which you people are using for last two years. How easy is it for you to shift from the previous one to the new one? The, the, the uh, approach to change is very important. So there, there can be infinite number of factors which are responsible for behavioral intention. And then when you say you don't have any paper on antecedents, is maybe you don't know anything on research. You see, whatever you study, whatever papers are you studying on behavioral intention, they're telling you something on this concept. So that something is a part of antecedents. You have to make a list. OK, first paper you read. There are three reasons which are responsible for behavioral intention. You read the second paper, uh, you have another set of three new reasons coming in. OK, so when you club them all, all these factors, you put them into one uh, common place and you see there are 20, 30 factors which are affecting your behavioral intention. Then you have to fix. Then you need to understand which are relevant for your study. You need to pick them and then you have to delete some of the factors which are not relevant from your particular studies perspective so this relation and inclusion inclusion exclusion has to be defined in your definition so when you're defining the concept of behavioral intention in your study you have to make it very clear what is included and what is excluded so that no one has a doubt when they read your report Hey, what is this SST and AMP, comma, AMP? No, it's misprinted. Oh, it's only up to SST. I don't know. This is misprinted. This AMP, you know. So this is an error? Yes, sir. You have not seen your PPT prior to submission? Means before. Sir, we did. No, sir, we did. Then how this mistake is there in your slide? Sir, I don't know. And uh, Actually, we have been... Uh, you see everyone expecting 10 out of 10 is something very dangerous you can claim 10 when you have a zero defect report so this is very uh, okay uh, can you give me some of the theories monica can you share me some of the theories basic uh, underlying theories for behavioral intention Who defined you this concept of behavioral intention in uh, past? So those experts, they started this concept and then many of the experts have did some modification into it. Whom are you following in research? Any which uh, theory is being adopted by you in your study? Sir, uh, we have uh, gone through one uh, model that is SSTQL scale. 
and uh, under this uh, there are uh, certain uh, dimensions mm -hmm. monica 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 sorry to intervene sst service quality scale what you said scale is actually a questionnaire is a questionnaire okay developed by someone but what i'm asking here is a theory what theory is the base of your topic like in some of the previous uh, presentation one fellow has brought in a theory that was one theory now i'm asking you again that same question what are the probable theories in in context of your study and if you are doing good work you deserve 10 out of 10 you should be able to give me certain answers on what sort of theories underlying theories have been the starting point for your topic any when you read these research papers you said you have completed somewhere around 40 research paper in group so in those 40 papers there must have been at least 5 to 7 theories minimum which you must have gone through but you ignored it i'm looking for those theories only which are the base underlying theories for your topic so the behavior pattern and the usage behavior pattern usage pattern is not a theory theory means when i say uh, theory of unemployment uh, theory of rent ha huh? ricardo gave you some theories maslow abraham maslow gave you some theories yes, theory sir. of motivation uh similarly there are many other theories so what i say is like when you are studying behavioral intention which set of experts i don't say one maybe many together so which set of experts uh, have been cited at max means you have prepared some excel file in terms of your review of literature you must have put up some of the papers with citation which paper has the highest citation can you tell me from your review of literature grade go back go back ha ah, see hey that no, no. is fred b davis oh very good ye yeah, davis who is this <laughs> who is this davis this is the same davis i was telling it to group 2 they brought in in statistical techniques they wrote tam t a m who, who who gave you this tam this tam is from davis this is the fellow who has got 27000 citations for his paper now this tam model has been widely used you see here in this paper a comparison of two theoretical models which are these two theories that ha they have studied in this paper who did who did this review in your group hmm paper number 11 is reviewed by whom in your group monica help me yes sir who did this paper number 11 review sir i did if you read this then which are the two theories which are being discussed here a comparison of two theoretical models they have defined you something in the theory so there are models which are supported by some theory which theories have been studied by this uh, researcher this group of researchers there are actually three have you read these papers thoroughly your silence is saying everything you have to achieve some targets in that rush to achieve your target sometimes team member don't respond to your calls so that is where you do lack we have some papers very valuable papers in custody but we don't know what is written in it and still we do write 10 10 10 is something very dangerous no uh, is not uh, justifiable we can always do peer rating to justify our role okay no issues kindly read your paper thoroughly you see next line also they have given you something on information technology so let me tell you all the group right now only few people are there so technology is your base concept which you people are using so technology adoption theories whatever there are five seven theories are there you have to refer them all theory of planned behavior theory of reasoned action uh, uh, technology adoption model uh, uh, you see uh, expectancy confirmation model ecm okay so there are so many theories which are there uh, so in, there sir uh, actually there are uh, two papers in a uh, report where theory of planned behavior is there right uh, that is what i am saying is yes, sir. why i am supposed to give you these theories from my side because we are reading your paper you now you you can re establish it that while reading the papers you have read these terms somewhere so yes sir. my my point to you all is like not only to your group but to every group is like when you read a paper try to figure out which are the basic underlying theories 
which have been taken up in these papers because if i am asking you a question so you have to quote the same theories you cannot move out of the frame you are using their model you are using their framework so but when i am asking you about your theory you don't know much is like a gap is a communication gap between you and the previous research you need to bring in those theories in okay so uh, we were on and on second objective can we go back to that objective wala screen to identify all list the very sentence intent related to behavioral intention in terms of in context of sst you see let me tell you one more thing only review of literature of research paper is not going to help you in this kindly read some books on sst self service technology read some general textbook search on google get some books go through the introduction part you will come to know how in introduction what chapter is <coughs> this will help you to prepare your final report okay and try to get more papers more papers on your given context if you say 50 50 is not going to help you you need to have at least 100 110 papers by the end of this semester means uh, by the end of this project work so if you give 30 paper it don't look nice because it may be a small in assignment which may have 30 papers in it if it is a group 10 paper for an assignment is okay but for a capstone project minimum 100 110 papers are required figuring out the right papers will be the most toughest part now uh just that. let me ask acha we were doing second objective uh, you said we uh, get it so how to do third objective sukbir can you help me in third objective yes sir so the third objective is to identify the key factors responsible for defining behavior intentions especially the millennial age group so so like the first thing that we have left to do is like what are the factors that actually affect uh, the behavior changes in this like it can be the choice okay the choice of uh, atms okay or the security of those uh, kiosk or self service technologies that they offer okay it can be the repeating how much much more uh, like person is visiting again and again so that we can uh, these are the factors like uh, is it the need right now okay is it just for they visiting for their so uh, what is the difference in objective 2 and 3 in that case if we go by your definition of how to solve your objective 3 what is the need of objective 2 in that case so the second is actually going to be related up to the wholly to sst but in the third one we just going to look for the behavior factors like we will be studying on the factors here also in the, in, in the second we are listing them down we are identifying them ah uh, identification is done in third what you are supposed to do you need to reduce them to the main core yes sir. and yes. then to the core and then uh, study on those three core like how many were the how many were the how are you going to establish which are core and which are non core the process uh, of deletion so by seeing that which one is the you, which are which behaviors are like repeated in more cases so you will be making tally marks and based on tally marks you will making a conclusion that which are widely used and which are least used so you will be using the uh, <coughs> are widely used with maximum tally bars tally marks so of course tally marks are not going to be easy it's going to be like uh, uh, we'll be studying up from the survey that this people have answered this so we'll be taking up that data like this is what their intention this behavior is being used much more this like it's not being like uh, shown be, by be, be practical there are, there are going to be 50 questions in your questionnaire apart from demographics so if you have 50 questions from one respondent and when i say your sample size need to be there somewhere uh, around 300 based on all presentations that you had 300 into 50 just imagine 15000 responses are there with you can you do this in the way that you are telling me ki, like you will figure out which is widely used as compared to others and then we will figure it out and we will do the, this is not what how we use statistics in statistics we have statistical ways and means to do it till now i have just just got the review of literature and the first thing we can do it through descriptive analysis in spss is okay accepted uh, based on some questions which we have discussed in your presentation only then second one was to identify and list so for this again what you do review of literature you do whatever items have been identified you put it into an excel file and do you present that thing into your report 
ki these are the papers 50 papers 60 papers or 110 papers that have been done and these are the various variables which were studied yani these are uh, the variables and what sort of relationship was found between this and behavioral intention it has been defined so once it is done your second objective is over now you need to go to the third objective which includes selection of a set of uh, factors for your study for your study in india in given context some selected parameters not all and then from those selected parameters only few which are considered to be the most important parameters so how to decide like there is a class of uh, 15 people and i have to pick only two or three so i'm how i am going to pick those three people statistically is my question to you so performance what performance like uh, one one is low in likert scale one is low five is high so no, many sir, sir, you can either you be either using up a random scale you will pick up a random choice or else it can be a based on the highest performance like which is being uh, like at high peaks so you can we can study those ones they might be you see so be we are doing data collection on a likert scale with five points in it one means highly dissatisfied five means highly satisfied uh 1 2 3 4 5 is your scale okay so in this peak means 5 so all people who are giving a response of 5 peak will be same for them can we conclude that they all lie in the same group just based on one question because there are 50 questions in one questionnaire for one respondent maybe for question 1 he has a response in one particular fashion but when i go to question 2 he may be responding in another way so maybe all people who have given a five pointer response in question one may not be giving it same in second question maybe some of them will be giving a high rating some of them may be giving a lower rating so how we can do it manually the way you are suggesting sir i am not suggesting it to do it manually how to do then like my suggestion was like oh, of course through the statistical tool so when we analyze it okay we'll get to know like this are the this patterns are being used more we can categorize them so on upon categorizing so the patterns that are being reflected the most we can study on those core patterns only uh, uh i am sure that you must have got some sort of understanding when we were preparing your synopsis i suggested certain techniques for statistical interpretations which were those techniques if you re uh, remember which test or techniques were suggested by me sir no idea okay hemant yes sir kindly share the techniques which were suggested in nature and was given by me to you when you were preparing your initial draft of synopsis i asked a question to sukhbir and i now have to answer that question also the answer is hidden somewhere in the initial descriptions of your uh, group so do you know which technique no so i said i don't remember okay okay monica no sir have you heard about exploratory factor analysis efa i need yes, a sir. yes that or no efa is cfa no? uh what is cfa confirmatory factor analysis have you read something on efa and cfa till now no sir uh, this is the problem you see if you have read something on efa you must have got my question very clearly so efa help you to reduce your factor so maybe you initially when you start you have 100 factors but efa will help you to get your response like whatever response you have collected on likert scale on a scale of 5 or 7 or 9 whatever you have done it will help you to delete your unnecessary factors out it will help you to like uh, regroup the items and will reduce all the factors into few limited factors based on the response that people have given it to you through your question so that is done by efa then you have to do cfa to confirm that what you have done in efa is all right then those models those structural models can be validated through certain predefined values but i'm sure you have not seen anything in the name of software till now you uh, monica which software are you working on sir spss you see i want to give you a zero on it why i am in this session also i have quoted many a times that spss is something which is general 
and is to be there with every research researcher all of you can do it but when i ask you which software are you doing you have to give me a particular name and i do remember in your group you said ki you have not been informed on software so in that particular meeting that too on google platform things were shared and i asked you to pick one software each for all three of you so that you should not have any confusion in future today almost after <coughs> two to three weeks i am again asking you the same question i need a different answer not spss some other software which is like given to you in group and you have started working on it and you don't have any challenge maybe if you have challenge you 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 have to see more videos monica you are saying we try to go into the system we are seeing the videos and then we don't get anything then we move out have you given this feedback earlier yes sir which software videos were you seeing on youtube sir spss and orange orange spss is something general orange is something unique so this is what i'm asking for what software you should say orange next thing is like you should say sir i have not i have not got any understanding on sorry or so orange so that is all clear there is no problem in it but when you this own orange is a serious threat you should understand that this is a software where you don't have much of choice you have to pick uh, you have been given this thing and you have to go through it learn something on it uh, try to understand try to digest it may be tough initially whenever you face something new for the first time it is tough to understand but you need to uh, digest things and then learn over a period of time what about you sukhbir which software was there with you sir adanko adanko have you gone through any of the video of adanko uh sir frankly speaking just one not much can i ask you why we you we do have this adanko software when we do have spss or we have amos <laughs> or we have this thing like smart pls adanko is the fourth generation means let me say starting from spss then a uh, mos came in then smart pls came in and then Ad Ad adanko came in orange is totally out of the league it is another sort of uh, software that is there so why there is a need to go into adanko have you read something on the introductory part of the software yes sir like the first of all the software is new okay and it is an updated versions like the uh, of uh, like it's got much new stuff to go with like can you share uh, few the pls structure modeling is also the if i'm not wrong okay. i remember in the video they they told about some pls uh, structuring mm -hmm. okay so that might be something new into it no no pls uh, structuring is done in smart pls which is another software so you are doing when you are doing a danco a danco is an updated version of smart pls so whatever uh, research testing and analysis can be done in smart pls the, this uh, adanco has some edge over smart pls uh, smart pls has some edge over amos amos have some edge over spss so you are at the fourth level you are sitting at the fourth level you should know why you are superior to the others chalo at least we have seen one video means i expect minimum 10 to 15 videos or even one video if they give you a better understanding on your thing is okay but you see the point at this point of time your understanding on your software is very low and may be possible that when it is asked for i ask you to take the same data set that you have collected uh, i'm not asking you much questions on like how you are going to do your data collection because it was asked to some other group so maybe same questions will come to your group also but here i am looking into some more some what more of uh, application of software so if you need your data to be analyzed using adenco software you can only do it when you have a understanding on it and very common you see adenco workshops are not very common so they people don't like uh, many people don't have a good grip on to it so most of the time you will find that smart pls and adenco will go side by side so the workshop first will have one two day for smart pls and last one or two days for adanco because if you know smart pls you know adanco you know adanco you have a good understanding of like you can easily learn the smart pls and these are softwares you can see more of videos there are lots of videos on uh, youtube for these softwares have you got your software downloaded have you seen it yes sir i have done no sir not yet hemant which software are you working on 
सर आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू ऑन द मीटिंग दैट आई डाउनलोडेड ऑरेंज इट वाज अराउंड वन जी बी बट आफ्टर आई डाउनलोडेड इट एंड वॉज सींग यूट्यूब वीडियो सो हाउ टू कंटिन्यू फर्दर देन आई गॉट टू नो दैट इट वॉज एंड फ्री सो यू टोल्ड मी टू लुक फॉर अनदर सॉफ्टवेयर ऑल्सो सो आई डिड एमॉस एंड आई सॉ सम ऑफ द वीडियोज वन और टू लिंक्स व सेंड बाय यू ऑन द ग्रुप and uh, i saw the video of uh, that uh, ch- that channel of uh, like uh, that stat- uh, my my easy statistics uh, mm-hmm. that was the channel so there i uh, <coughs> saw the amos video and uh, uh, i saw it till uh, where it was starting uh, to manually draw the sem model mm mm-hmm. okay 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 hemant you are that means you are using a moss not orange yes sir so we so first i started Ad- from orange ah i got it so we yes. are using adenco papa kab hoy thi class khatam bas yes sir i'll be uh, using like i have actually seen those videos but i have not downloaded it yet that's it no issues uh, i'm just making a clarity who is doing what monica i'm sure you must have been given smart pls not no, your uh, orange no sir you see we were to sign particular uh, software we were just named after this when i'm sharing something in your group what is the intent of it it has to be taken up by someone and uh, yes. i have a very high probability that orange should not be given if it is a team of 3 if it is a team of 4 group of 4 then orange is to be brought in so that's why you see in this case hemant started with orange and later on i have recommended him to go to amos so um, now it's complete one of you should do amos one of you should do adanco and the third one of you should go into smart pls it cannot be orange again how multiple of you can go into orange yani this is only indicating lack of communication yani you cannot attempt two people cannot attempt a single software when there are more than uh, three softwares available in your group so should have some sort of communication between team members and thereafter only you should decide what to do next okay who is desi- who figured out this global report which you have sh- shown in your uh, relevance i am asking it to the last ha uh, so be yes sir who figured out that uh, report of uh, global self service uh, technology some report was there na yeah. um, v means what here v sir me 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 हाँ मी ओके ओके सब भी ठीक है या मी ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है गोट इट आई आई डोंट लाइक दिस वर्ड वी आई वांट मी इज ओके आई डेड इज ओके नो सर एक्चुअली आई वाज सेइंग इट्स मी ओनली ओके ओके मी इज वेरी क्लोज टू वी वो इज यूजुअली स्टेटेड लाइक दिस नो इश्यूज ठीक सो विद दिस आई होप टुडे वी कैन वाइंड अप द सेशन सो व्हेन आर यू दिस लास्ट ग्रुप व्हेन आर यू सबमिटिंग योर रिव्यू पेपर Hemant, you are considered to be the group coordinator. Monica gave you a name in the morning when we started with uh, identification of group coordinators. You can give a word on behalf of your entire group. Yes, sir. By what time can I expect your review paper to be there with me? Sir, uh, after the exam ends. Sir, I have looked upon uh, a site of IJSDR, which is recognized also by UGC. Mm-hmm. so uh, in there i think uh, we will submit our research paper uh, it's uh, uh, it's 900 rupees for indian students and uh, uh, it, the paper uh, publication uh, you know that uh, yes or no they will uh, submit the paper uh, will be around 2 to 7 days so good i think very we will good. go with that see this is very good what he meant it is excellent he has started searching for some of the journals where it can be published he has started searching for the cost factor he has started searching for the like the time period in which they will respond back to you only one warning here even though he has done something good is make sure that these journals if you are shortlisting for your publication they are in the list of ugc recognized journals the ugc very frequently comes up with some sort of deletions in their existing names maybe many of the journals which are in like in market they are trying to like uh, uh, get their publication fee and all they miscommunicate to audience by saying that they are ugc listed so it is better whatever journal you pick up 
do have a uh, uh, thorough uh, cross check about their credibility and about their recognition from ugc okay once it is up, like recognized everything is verified then only you go ahead with the, any sort of payment and all when it comes to paper publication fee when i say this uh, is 900 rupee per uh, this uh, for research students you see 900 rupee is uh, uh, according to the number of persons that you have one person 900 if you have three person 3 into 9 2700 so there are certain things so make it very clear is it 900 for all or is it 900 for one and uh, this is something which you have to think on it you start searching for things once you come across such so called journals and all do share it to your whatsapp group so that i can also see into their background and profile whether they are fit like can we have something on it or not okay so uh, you see you have to like once you are done with your review paper do submit it to me so that i can give a, and add my valuable suggestions so it means i say it is valuable from my side but i say i have to give certain suggestions on to it in order to have a better acceptance and if you know someone in these agencies then publication is easy but we don't know as we don't know anyone and like it is going to be a little bit tougher for us to have publications done that too within the timelines which department is giving so you need to hurry and uh, expectation is like from everyone like by what date can they submit date means it should be a particular date should not be a confusing date like start of semester you see you'll take some rest a day or two two days rest and by the time your next semester will start again and uh, this is going to be very tough writing a review paper this is more tougher than writing a normal research paper because when you made your synopsis was easy a bit easier but when you write a synopsis this sort of a review paper it requires your in depth understanding on your given theme yani whatever keywords have been assigned to you then only you can write these review papers okay so just go through it have a group meeting of yours whenever you have time do assign the task and then have some uh, re- review meetings before you come up to your final date of submission that is like i have given a text message to everyone in your whatsapp group to share your final date of submitting your review paper meanwhile i'll be asking you maybe for a uh, maybe for a time or maybe for two times i'll be asking you the status so you need to update me on your status and peer rating is something which should be based on your actual contributions not on some emotional factors that someone is injured someone is weak someone is hospitalized someone has a family function so it should be purely based on uh, your level of understanding of your topic the contributions that you have made in group for submission Uh, it should not be on any other emotional parameter so with this i hope we have already consumed a big amount of time 10 to 2 is 4 and a half hour we thought of 4 but it is more than 4 so let us wind up now and we can go for uh, some other task here up do you have any one of you having any query if you have to share else we'll wind up the session okay so in that case if you don't have any query you can leave all of you can leave this session i'm closing the recording so by when we have